All right, guys, good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in the world. Yo, PK, welcome in. Lednor, welcome in as well. Good to see you guys. <clears throat> we are going to start doing some contracts here in the Flatland. So that is what's on the agenda today. Depending on if we get done with Flatland, or everything that is exclusive to Flatland, we could move over to Reactive Zone and start scouting. So it just all depends on how fast we move. Anyways, I'm going to take a sip of this coffee that is way too hot for me to uh, to consume, and then we're gonna continue. Good to see y'all this morning. Wow, that's hot. Okay, give that a little bit. But before then, I would like to look at some things, actually. So, I'd like to check in. Let's see, I haven't updated my game yet. I'd like to see what the ratings are for... Still 52%. 908 and 748, wow. <clears throat> I feel like the negatives are catching up pretty quick. 52% for expeditions right now. Wow. Okay. Anyways, just wanted to check that. Let's let's get started. Make sure my controller works. It does. Oh man, what a good morning it is. What a good morning. Okay, let's uh let's get some stuff done, make some cash. And then uh Yeah. Get some stuff done. We're what 39% yesterday. Yesterday we got to 39%, the day before we got to 25%. So I mean that's a pretty big percentage percentage move right there. So hopefully we can uh make some more progress here, maybe get into the forties. We shall see. Okay, so it gave me a free a free trailer. That sounds good. <laughs> Alright. Um oh gosh, I gotta do this, don't I? Okay, I probably can do this with the, the load star. Let me see if do I have him anywhere near. Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm gonna do this real quick. Load start up. Uh, hate starting with this, but uh, <clears throat> that's just the way, it, just the way it crumbles, I guess. So, I'm gonna do this uh, this quick quick mission here contest. Turn up my volume just a tad. So I can actually hear some of these tunes. You know, I'm not really a person who, uh, who like plays, you know, like bust out like Pandora or Spotify. When I'm playing a video game, it's almost like I feel, I feel like I want to be more immersed in like the actual experience. So I think this game's music is, uh, very, Immersive, if that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know if I do make sense, but but hey, we try. What's up, Max? Welcome in. Manverse game, welcome in as well. Good to see you. Good morning. Good afternoon, guys. Oh, 
I think this is... Yeah. This is it, right here. Of course, I don't know if this is nighttime or this... I think this is nighttime. I think so. Actually, no, it's morning. Good, 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 good. Daylight. Daylight for the contest. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's uh... You didn't get bronze? Uh, you didn't get above bronze, really. I think this one is actually kind of rough, to be honest. Last time I checked, this one was actually kind of rough. 140, man, that's, that's a lot of distance in a minute 40. Honestly, I don't even think it matters. The cash is terrible. This is not something I would spam five times. I, I don't know. How far along? I am 39% and we just started episode five. All right, let's roll. Wow. Yeah, I don't see myself getting getting gold on this one either. But who knows? We, we could surprise ourselves. Oh boy. That could have been rough. Could have been tough. Could have been a flip. Oh yeah. I could have probably went around this. I don't know. We might. Wow, that was that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate too. Wow. Huh. How about that? This is probably gonna be twenty seconds, fifteen seconds? No, there's no way. There's no way. Oh, duh, I'm in low. Yeah, whatever. I messed that up, but it's fine. Completion is fine. I probably am going to get bronze. I believe I've gotten gold on this before. Let me actually, I want to go back and see. Did I get gold on this before? I want to see my main playthrough because I'm pretty sure I got gold and I'm pretty sure I just used the Tega and just slammed high gear. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that coffee is like perfect temperature. Perf. But yeah, we're going to try to make up some, uh, some ground here. I'm probably 40% right now from that from that mission completion. No, it's just completion, honestly. Completion is is good enough for 100%. That's all they're really asking for, participation trophies, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a player profile contest. NC, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. What is it? Yeah. Okay, cool. There's a lot of traps, yeah. So I think the reason why the AE probably struggle there, Max, is just because it's turning speed. You're probably fighting the turning speed a lot. I, th I think just using a probably something with like a more fast twitch 
fast twitch uh, turning speed. Because it's like the AE, you have to almost, you have to really be in front of the truck, if that makes sense. Like, you got to be a step ahead with making your decisions on, on your tire inputs or your steering inputs. It's kind of, it's weird, but there's a lot of people that are super good at it. The cockpit one, which was yesterday. Wait, wait, what map are you on? Is it the Black River one? Okay. Um, I'm actually going to head back this way. We are 40% now. All right, cool. 40%. Basically, every mission is a percentage, almost. Yeah, basically, every mission is like a percentage. Yeah, I would try it with the Tega. I, I would. I, I would, uh... It just... It, it's turning speed so fast. It's kind of like the, uh, the Lodestar. It just... It turns and recenters so quick that... You know, you can... It makes up... It makes up for... You know, um... Basically not judging how far you need to turn in advance and stuff like that so that's one thing i don't like about the vorons is their turning speed is not as good as i would like to see <clears throat> wow dude slamming my my chin right now at least i didn't like totally smash myself to bits so that's a good thing Indeed, Black River. Oh, wow. Yikes, looking at chat, sorry. Which ones I can't complete yet because I don't have the money for trailers. <clears throat> so wait, are you playing normal or hard mode right now? I almost want to go in and repair. But I think I'll be okay. There, wait, no, I don't need the repair. There's a, there's a resupply zone that I can grab for this truck whenever I traverse over through Pine Line to Reactive Zone. There's a resupply point, so I can just repair myself, resupply. Normal? Okay, so what I would do is, in normal, I would all the trailers that you can find, round all those things up and sell them off. There's two trailer stores on, uh, on Black River. Sell them all off. Every map, basically, I'm telling you, it's 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 like thirty or forty thousand dollars. I think it's a lot, actually. I forget. I, I don't have the numbers crunched, but I can probably go back and look at the numbers. Okay, let's see here. It's reactive, 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 reactive. Okay, cool. Reactive, man. There's a lot of reactive. Ovirio. Ghost Town. That's it. That's over. Virio 2. Okay, cool. <clears throat> That's that. Reactive. Lost and Found. We can do Lost and Found. Clear picture. It's all connected. Okay, I basically <laughs> need to do Lost and Found right now. And that is... And then I do the Cooling Towers. Okay, wait. This might be something I can do right now. Cooling towers, concrete blocks, concrete blocks are there, small pipes are up there, oversized cargo is there. Okay, cool. Um, Let's roll out with, uh, I'll use the paystar today, why not, you know? What's up W, welcome in. <clears throat> No, they really don't tell you much. That's that's I kind of honestly I kind of like it. That they don't kind of hold your hand a little bit in in a lot of ways, but that's it's always good to Okay, to the loading dock. Okay, nice, nice, nice. This is great cuz that's where I need kind of need to go. Nate, when you're Doing a region, are you trying to complete it map by map? Max, yes. Usually what I try to do is before I, I, I move on, um, I will try to, in the map that I'm at, 
what I, what I do is I'll complete everything that I can that's exclusive to that map. Um, and then I'll move on. So like all the tasks, all the contracts um, that are exclusive to that map itself. So Pineland Bay, I did everything that was having to deliver to Pineland Bay. I know I have to deliver stuff to Pineland Bay later at the end, but this map is just different, right? You prefer to spread out? Some people like to do that too. Some people like to scout everything out and just move on to different ones. I like to just, because I think in hard mode, it, in hard mode, it makes more sense to, to do things step by step because spreading out your fleet too much in hard mode, if you don't have a big fleet, it's kind of a, it's like spreading yourself thin. Does that make sense? But in se you know, up to season 12, yeah. Nate, I need to thank you for delivering the Scout 800 to Expeditions. <laughs> it arrived yesterday. <laughs> nice, dude. That's awesome. It's the Scout 800. Expeditions. I think I did see that. Yeah, the selling mechanism, normal normal mode, you really don't lose any cash when you sell a truck back. Like the, the value of your truck, your trailers, they all are like retail value. So you're not really losing money. In Michigan, money is, I don't want to say it's kind of tight. It kind of is tight in normal mode in Michigan, but like that's just because you're in Michigan. You're going to get to a point in normal mode where money is really not going to be a thing anymore. Experience is not going to be a thing, and then you're just, yeah, completing missions just to complete missions. Like right now, in normal mode, I have, you know, two, two million in cash, every truck, all upgrades, and I mean, I could buy multiple trucks if I wanted to of the same kind, but I, I don't do that. Do you like it when you have to take cargo from one mat to another? Yeah. Yeah, I think I like that too. I like cross map. Um, I like cross map, uh, what's it called? Missions like that. I, I do like those. Um, where's the garbage? Oh, it's way up there. Okay. Wow. And this, this map has a lot of them. Like for, for instance, the, uh, the medium logs that had to go to Pine Line Bay. So I wasn't going to go leave Pine Line Bay do a bunch of other maps and then come back for that one mission because I think those those medium logs I had to go over to a Virio just to get the medium log so I was like okay I'll just I'll just cross map it after the base game and the what's up SD1 welcome in man good to see you after the base game and then maybe the year one DLCs money doesn't matter yeah yeah that's that's kind of how I felt too like it just becomes non non-factor really i mean i don't think i really ever worried about money after yeah after the base game but i think i think people are all about having cash experiences yeah same thing with expeditions man i feel like there's just you get so much cash from expeditions and you know even if you wanted to sell off your, your trucks, your DLC trucks for crazy amounts of cash. Yeah, so it just doesn't doesn't add up to me. Ooh. I'm actually gonna grab more cargo at this at this hub here, because I know I know there's cargo that goes to that conning I mean the cooling towers. I don't know why I say conning towers. Uh you know what? Let's go this way. this pack what a cheese <laughs> what a cheese yeah it's harder to make money in hard mode well I don't well hard mode like things cost cash like to repair my truck costs cash to recover it costs cash um, to reef you know getting fuel costs cash 
you know, pretty much you're paying money for almost everything. To auto load from a supply point costs cash as well. But even in even in, even in hard mode, man, I'm gonna be real with you. There haven't there ha really hasn't been a region that I've I've struggled with with money other than the base game or not the not even the base game. I would say Michigan, like Michigan, I was pinching pennies, and I I, I never was really hard off on Michigan just because I never paid for fuel. So I, I didn't pay for fuel up until Amore. Amore was my first map in hard mode that I actually started paying for fuel. So, I mean, I had money. It's just I was trying to save money to buy trucks that I wanted. But I, I don't know. I never really felt the pressure too much in hard mode. Just from the... From, I don't know, some exploits that I have. You tried it with the Tega, you nearly got gold. You hit the tree at the finish line? Oh, dude. See? Tego can do it, man. So it's, it's a weird thing, man. It's very weird. The Tega is is not it's not like a standout power-wise. It just has great balance. It's very, very versatile, maneuverable. Welcome in, Redneck. Okay, so I'm going to pick up something from this warehouse. I forget what it is for the towers, the cooling towers, but I know I need them. I know I need the... I think it's two towers. I think it's concrete. No, shoot, it's small pipes, isn't it? Please tell me it's not oversized. I think oversized is here. Yeah. So it's going to be small pipes. Yeah. Make sure small pipes confirm. Small pipes. Got it. Let's roll it out. In the old games, hard mode doesn't allow recovery. You also can't can't bring new trucks on map on maps so if you mess up you're done oh wow kind of like that i like that actually i like that they would never do that in snow runner though <laughs> they would never i think uh with the, everything we talked about yesterday with potential so I actually talked to a game developer about them supposedly implementing, how do I say this, tire deflation to SnowRunner. And I asked him if that was true and he said yes. He said, but I, I don't know, We, I don't know if it's actually something that's going to be brought I don't it's it's weird I don't know it's it's weird he said from what they what they said on discord that feature will be brought over however I'm not really going to say it's going to until like an actual like Issa Roken says says so right so I think if it does come over and it does multiply friction like in in the mud I don't think it's going to be a good idea but that's just me What's up, Daniels? Good morning. Victor, good morning. You hated the vehicles in, in, in Michigan? Really? Maybe new for year four pass trucks, they can add the tire deflation or maybe, yeah, maybe it, I'm hoping it, maybe it's like a first selective, selective vehicles or something, because I think if they just brought it in and there's any type of multiplier in like mud and dirt, 
I just think it kind of breaks the game. I don't know, it, just in my opinion, I think it kind of breaks the game. I don't know, um, but if I think if they are bringing it over, here's here's what I think though. If they do implement it and they make it more or less adding crazy multipliers for just like rock surface, I do want to say if they do that, I can almost guarantee there's going to be less mud and it's going to be more tippy, rocky situations. And I actually like that. So if that's the case, I'm all for it. Or I'm all for it to, to just have like, um, I guess, added grip on solid, solid, solid surfaces, I guess. I don't know. Will be cool for scouts though. Yeah, probably. I just think, uh, so you have super conditions, right? I don't know. Like, how do I say this? Strategically, like, it's good to to be able to understand how to just avoid and navigate around super conditions. I think just giving this, like, let's say they, they did deflation, right? And now this truck here could basically, like, plunge through the devil's mud just because I can deflate my tires. Like, I don't think that's a good thing. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, I'm actually going this way because I'm going to drop off these pipes at the conning towers. And then I'm going to deliver the trash over to the other zone. I have to pick up cargo for the, um, the towers as well. You sure they wouldn't imp just implement it in all existing trucks? I don't, I don't know. Walk mode and chainsaw. If you can even, yeah, there's no way they can even get out of the, get out of the truck. I don't think they. You still need clearance for multipliers. Yeah, that's another. You're right. You're right. W. So like, you would be losing ground clearance. You still would be accumulating ground resistance. But I wonder though, with the multiplier. Would you overcome the resistance, though? Do you see what I'm saying? That's my question. Would it be so much that it actually overcomes the resistance from just dragging yourself through? I, no, I use the raised. I'm using the raised right now, I think. I think it's because I have... Uh, I was using the raised. I think it's the raised. Maybe it isn't. I feel like my tires should have more no it's i think i am i think it looks like it's crunched crunched because uh i have these big heavy beams or pipes in the front but yeah i've been using the rays lately i think i'm just a little bit more comfortable with keeping balance especially with the trailer if all trucks got tire deflation it would be messy in sr this whole sharing of tire assets complicates things i think yeah i think they i think it kind of does but that's just me. I don't know. That's just my my small small opinion from a random dude. Okay, so just take that with a grain of salt here. Oh, dude, I need I need gas at some point, and I don't have it. I don't know if I have anything in this area. I just passed. Probably just go back to that fuel station. I need to be better about getting my fuel truck set up. so much fuel just said I just literally just driving burning that much fuel it's un unreal 3 2.9 whatever it was 3.9 oh nice okay cool all right let's turn this in Actually, I need to unpack, pull these out, put the pipes on, put these back. 
and then get some fuel. Go over to the other zone. see actually you know what I need to do it's time it's time it's time I'm going to get this to a location that it can be used and I know I'm going to pass this location multiple times so, yeah, it's going it's going to have a lot of use. Because I know I'm going to need to stop here for multiple places, multiple times. Have a great spot for this. Probably should just threw the high range gearbox on, just slammed it in high. Gotta say though, man, I, I do. This is something I do kind of feel bad about. Is I, I, I use this truck right here as such, and it's pretty much its only role in my in my fleet, just because of how crazy its fuel burn is. And I think that's sad. <laughs> it's kind of sad because I would I would actually use this truck a lot more because I think this is actually one of my more um one of the more stronger trucks in the game, to be quite honest. It's just, it's plagued by having insane consumption. Especially with, I don't know. I almost feel as if they should also add a, how do I say this? An advanced special for this. Have I tried running the stock engine? I don't... I wouldn't do that, actually. I don't think that would work really well. I mean, yeah, you could. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. Chill. Oh. I mean, we can look at... I can look at the... Uh, here, let's look at this, then. Let's look at the stock engine consumption versus... Uh, Versus like normal. Well, we know it's going to be better. I can pull the numbers and we can take a look at it. Um, yeah, I could I could do that. But first, we'll just do a quick test. I think, you know, just seeing actually seeing seeing numbers is actually a good thing to do, right? OK, I forget what this is torque wise. Let me actually look this up because I only I don't know what this one is either. Let's let me actually take a quick gander. Yeah. Okay, let's go engines. Let's take a quick look, guys. So what was that? The A, A2000. Okay, let's see. Can you guys see this? Yeah. Old heavy. The A2000 is 200,000 torque with a consumption of 9.5. And at the highest heights is 12.5. So we can take a look at it. Next one is 220. Roof rack would be nice, yes. Would be unprecedented. Yeah, but I mean, how many things are, how many things make sense in SnowRunner that they add in? So, and it is a heavy truck. So keep that in mind. And it's one of the 
I don't, I don't want to say heavier, but it's it's trending on one of the heaviers. Yeah. Or they could, I don't know. All right, let's see. Raised. Let's go. It I don't think tires really even matter, but I'll put on some grippy ones to uh, prove a point, I guess. Do I need anything else? Oh, yeah. That might work. <laughs> that might work, too. <laughs> All right, I'll just go like this. Bare bones, right? Let's go bare bones out. You wish we got rebalancing from existing trucks in year four, but... <sighs> yeah, it can't be monetized. And I think if they even did, like, rebalancing, it would they would just add upgrades. Okay, let's check this out. Let's go. Let's just punch high. And let's just roll it. 6 point. Okay, it's still above 6. That's with no cargo. I probably should have put some weight on here, to be honest. Okay, let's try this now. The fine tune eight metal beams? Yeah, you, you probably will break some type of some type of record. Actually, I don't know. Six point seven. It is touching seven above seven. Six point two. Okay, so it's it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. It is touching over seven, which the other one wasn't, so. But I could probably break records. Now here's here's the thing. They're actually pretty close in consumption. I wouldn't say they're very close on that. Just because it's high gear, it's it's totally different, right? Because it's kind of what's up, Josh Bear, welcome in. So that's high gear, right? So you're just, I'm just punching it. So constant speed. It's not really working too hard going up that hill because it has so much available power. Here's here's the thing is with using a lesser engine, is is the lesser engine going to be stressed so much that it's going to be pulling it's higher heights of consumption versus of an, an, how do I say this? An inefficient engine not working as hard. Okay. I think if I put this, this, uh, this add on on that truck on that test, we would have probably seen a little bit better of a, a result there. Kind of seen a little bit more of what the consumption thing is, right? Your favorite trucking in SnowRunner? Do you do you mean my favorite truck in SnowRunner? Okay, so we'll take this all the way down. I'm going to take this to this little... Almost to the gateway of Aviro Hills. My favorite truck? Ooh, that's a hard one, man. It's a very hard question to answer. Um, I'm starting to like a lot of trucks, to be honest. Well, I, I can't say I'm starting. I have been. I have been liking a lot of trucks. It's kind of a really hard question to answer, but I think just from like my 20, the year of 2020 answer is going to be the Azov 64131. I just, I think even to this day, it kind of just holds a special place in my heart. Paystar 5070 is one of them too. Um, Cat CT681. I do wonder what the cap, you know what I want to do? <laughs> I almost want to see what the cap on fuel consumption is. Like what truck has the highest cap? Because if you look at the, the FEM, I think the FEM gets, right now the FEM's highest I've ever seen it is like a, like a tad over 10. The damaged FEM, I think you're right. I do think you're right. We might, we might do a little test here. I want to see if this thing can get close. 
me right there 9.5 right there already I just slammed hit 9.5 but not sustained I wonder if I damage this truck if it would actually smash over 10 but like right here with like the smaller engine I wonder if I'd still get wheels to turn like I'm, I'm pretty stressed out Navistar's a good contender too yeah I agree 100% agree I could only understand gallons. I think the conversion, I forget what the conversion is. I think six gallons per minute is like 23 to 25, right? The fem goes over 40. Okay, yeah. So if I've only seen it. I've only ever seen it in gallons. So I've seen. Let's see here. Actually, I think I have it. I have this video. I'll, I'll just pull the video. We can look check check it out on the hill. Let's see. I'll show you guys this. This is actually. I say this is actually from the review. That's the metal beams. Here's the, here's the, uh, here's the damaged. Ten point four. So, I didn't try to pull anything heavier than this five slot new trailer, because I, I knew it, it wouldn't go any farther with the eight slotter. But yeah, ten point four sustained. Look at this gas just run out. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's that. We can take a look at uh the fine tune. Does it I don't think it has a fine tune. Does it? Does the fem have a fine tune? I don't think the fem even has a fine tune. Damage fix 5600 with fine tune will beat it. You're probably right. Does damage fuel tank show on consumption? Not damaged fuel tank, damaged engine. So damaged engine will have a, a consumption. Oh dude, are you serious? It swapped back? Oh, we can't have that type of stuff, guys. I'm sorry, we can't have can't have the metric system. I'm sorry. I know most of you guys are are watching from uh, that watching from you know across the world that that have metric. And I apologize, but I used to do that actually for probably my first 800 hours. I used metric on this game, and then my good friend Alien Pirate. I watched him and he, he ruined me. So you guys can thank Alien Pirate. Um, his name is Chris. You can thank him for ruining the metric system. Switch over to, to you know gallons, miles, etc. But yeah, if your if your if your engine is damaged, Hulk, there's a consumption multiplier that it gets added to it, and then also I think your torque multiplier gets changed as well. So you have in some cases you have a percent so much percentage less and so, what is going on dude i have to do this at the main menu are you serious right now you're messing with my game okay i sound gallons miles how did he convince me to change he didn't really convince me it just i'm an american he's an american i'm used to gallons per minute I'm used to seeing gallons. It's just a natural, natural thing. Once I saw that, I was like, dude, how did you get gallons on there? He was like, yeah, you just, you just switch it right here. And I was like, oh. Yeah, he didn't really have to pull my, pull my tail or force me to do it. I just did it after I found out I could. I don't think it really bothered me. I mean, 
English Empire ruined you in 1776? The Mastodon based engine? Yeah, no, that's so that's actually a really cool fact. Um, w is that the Mastodon is, I believe, one of the only trucks. Here, I'll, I'll, we'll show this too. This is kind of funny. The Mastodon is actually one of the only trucks to get increased engine torque, but decreased consumption. So here, check it out. Look at this. <laughs> 203,000. We might test this out, actually. This is a good one to test here. Consumption, 140. 20. 20, man. Yo, Lucas, welcome. Luca, welcome in. So it goes from 20 to 17 to 14. Is the hardcore mode for multiplayer? Uh, it can be for multiplayer. However, this is, this is a... Uh, single player I think W I think I did mention that in the review maybe I didn't I don't know I'm trying to think if I did or did not actually no that this goes I'm trying to think where this should go uh -huh. I guess I'll put it like here Yeah, this is going to be for here. Now we go back to the pay star. All right, you know what we're going to do? Now that we know the, the figures on the Mastodon, let's go check that out real quick. Let's go look at some stuff. Hmm, that is weird. Hold on a second. I want to see something here. Actually, no. I don't want to see that. Let's pull Mastodon. Where's that stupid truck? <laughs> oh, I have it. Truck store. Let's see if we can break some records here. Go like this, 12 metric tons on top. Special, we'll go fine-tuned. We'll do, oh, it already has it. All right, cool, let's try this. Oh my. All right, give me a second, let's uh. I probably would have to damage it. Wow, 10.4, 10 10.6. 10 wow. It's hardly climbing. I think it's all right, though. It's climbing. Okay, got it. And now I have a, I have a question here. All right, here's my question. This is looking very promising. It's already at 7.9. Wow, dude. 10.3 10, yeah yeah damage I think I think these are gonna be higher yeah I think these are these are much they're gonna be much higher than the femme damaged 
or I think I don't know about much higher, but they will be they will be higher. Wow, that is crazy, dude. That is insane. <laughs> wow. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know. Breaking breaking 40 probably. I mean, we seen we seen the on the PTS prior to the changes to the FEM. It had like 20 I forget, it was like 20 or 20.3 20 or something like that for its its consumption and it, and it hit 40. Now we grab these. Macedon also has the worst torque consumption ratio. Oh yeah. Um, so this is what we're going to do because I need gas and I put this here. I need to get to there. I'm actually going to just go down this way. Get my gas tanker, roll up through here and then back. And then we'll complete the conning tower. And then after that, there should either be a mission that pops up or we might be moving on to the reactive zone. It's either going to be one or the other. That is unreal that both those trucks pull that much fuel. But wait, does... Hold on. Does the, uh, does the FEM have a fine-tune? I didn't... Probably does, honestly. I could probably could test that. If it does. The only thing is, those are like extreme cases, right? So I had to go to, here's what we have to kind of like realize is, for me to get consumption values that are equal to the FEM in a damaged state, right? I had to equip, <laughs> I had to equip a gearbox that literally was a, 60% all-wheel drive penalty opposed to a 40 or opposed to a zero in some cases. Well, with the Mastodon, it would have been zero with the advanced special. So it's like no one really uses the fine tune. I'm going to be real and I know I'm going to get some comments for this, but I think if you're using the fine tune, you're making a mistake. I really do. Unless you're using... Honestly, unless you're using like a, a truck that doesn't have all wheel drive. But even then, the slider is just not good. Oh gosh, can I even get to this location? Like right here, pulling this thing up with uh, like a, what truck is it? The 114 SD, like he probably would have caught axle freeze right there. Yeah, I, there are people that make arguments for it. They say it's it helps with, uh, with tailoring your wheel spin. But the thing is like, in any case, like if you if you legitimately have to go to low minus, like that is you're in a really bad place. In in mud, really. Fine tune feels faster on the W nine ninety. I mean we could check that too. I have I have a little test I can check that for the, the speed. I know for the bore, 
the off-road gearbox and the fine tuner around the same speeds in in low plus in low plus in the full low plus setting in high range in, in high range or throwing it in high gear yeah I don't, I don't know about that fine tune would have made more sense if it would allow wheels to spin at even or lower speed yeah no i agree honestly when the fine tuned gearbox came out i think they killed it they just killed it with consumption it was going to be a good thing i think what they should have done is actually just gave it the same consumption uh consumption um all-wheel drive penalty as the off-road and then you probably would have a lot of people using it the slider the slider is kind of use useless because the thing is it's it's like how do i say this the slider just moves too slow unless you have like a like people on mouse keyboard it doesn't really matter because you can just everything's like instant like an instant shift but like for me it's like there's a, a traverse speed right a shifting traverse speed and shifting in that gear is just not it's not pleasurable i guess like I'm spending too much time like holding my clutch to just shift gears to a setting, to a fine-tuned setting. And legitimately it's like if I want to go to the high, it's boom, instant. You know, it's not even it's basically like a split second. And I'm I'm in high or in any gear I want to go. Pending I get my um my inputs correct. Man, we're nerding out today, aren't we? <laughs> oh man, it wouldn't be a uh, it wouldn't be a, an end province stream if we didn't nerd out, right? But yeah, I'm gonna be coming to this location to get beams a lot, so that's why I have that that truck back there. And I know I'm gonna be, be traversing from map to map, so that having that truck in that position as well is another good thing, just for fuel stops and stuff like that along the way. You really like yeah man that's what people are calling for they're calling for like a lot of folks want to see like the old gearboxes what's up ranger welcome in love nerding out yeah i'm glad to hear it good morning to you as well doc good morning good afternoon guys wherever you're at in the world yeah i think with with how they have the torque the torque curve set up with with the, the gearboxes they currently have installed yeah manual a manual gearbox will never be a thing unless you drive like a rig to be honest i think yeah well actually you can't even really do that so for me, it's just clutch bumping is my only, my only true form of feeling like I'm switching gears. To be honest, it doesn't, how do I say this? It doesn't really, N stands for nerd. Yeah, nerd problems. That's why I put, should put the nerd. Nerd province. That's probably what I should make my name to. I mean, honestly, man, I think for me, because I, I drove, I've driven like stick shift cars all my whole life and like my current car I have is stick shift. My last car was the car before that was for me. It's like, it doesn't, I don't really, it doesn't matter for me too much, I guess. Cause I, I already, I guess I checked that box. <laughs> I guess I checked that box every day. Just driving my other car, I guess. Oh, never mind. I have to do this too. Oh, that's good. Okay. So I have other things to do here. Testing the waters. No, lost and found. There we go. You also like being able to diff lock high gear? Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Like Mud Runner, yeah, you can diff lock the high. That'd be pretty sick. Oh, dude, wow, the camera. Okay, cool. Let's go. Been there, done that.
I might trigger people saying the word nerd. Probably. I trigger people all the time, man. It's it's crazy the comments I get on a just uh, in reference to a video game or other things. It's funny. You're disappointed in the 57. I'm working on a video that's called the best three trucks for Vera Hills, and I thought the 57 would be one of them. Maybe still just. What do you, what do you mean, Daniels? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Can you elaborate, my friend? I don't know if I follow. I don't know if I agree, though. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. Scanning the area. That's right. I have to do that, too. Yikes. We're not done. We're definitely not done with this stuff. Okay, so oversized. Boom. Concrete blocks. Oh, wait. Concrete blocks. It's concrete blocks. When did you learn stick shifting, by the way? Um, my, so my second car, my first car was automatic. It was kind of like a, a government repo car that had like, I think it was like a drug car, to be honest. There was like slashes in the seats where I think they were like checking for drugs and stuff. And it, it was at an auction. My mom bought it for very cheap. It was a, a Ford probe, I think a 92 or 90. I forget what it was actually. 90, 92, 93, 94, I forget what it was. Uh, Black Ford Probe. And then, um, let's see what happened. My dad took it to work one day because he, ne he needed to take it to work because his car was in the shop. And a semi, a semi sideswiped him and, and totaled the car. Um, you know, he was fine. But the the company offered to pay for the car in its worth. So uh, Kelly Blue, Book, Blue Booked it. And came come to find out it literally cost the same amount as a Ford probe that someone was selling down the street that was red also had stick shift. This is when I was like 18 years old. So at the time I knew how to drive stick because my brother my brother had a an Eagle Talon. And and no joke, before I had my this is not I don't recommend anybody do this. Before I had my license, like as I was like 15 years old, um, it was like the dead of winter, really snowy roads, and I took his Eagle Eagle Talon out in the snow and it was a six speed i love that car by the way and i just drove it i don't know how i even taught myself how to do it. i just drove it i think from just understanding from watching other people drive stick i just drove it and then uh so when i got my ford probe um it, every stick car is different right it drives different but it took me a while to to learn it to where i could just do it without thinking but yeah it uh after that I got a after that I went to the military I got a Volkswagen Jetta TDI which is a turbo diesel I love that car and then yeah now I have a, a GLI from 2017 so the probe was supposed to be the new Mustang when it was designed really dude I mean it would go I'm not gonna lie to you I beat a I beat a Mazda 3 I beat a 2000, 2000, um, I raced a 2000, I think three, I think it was a 2003 or 2005. I'm not sure. Mazda three with that car. And I beat, I beat it on a little four banger. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> little four, little four cylinder car. It would go. I mean, it wasn't the fastest car, but Trucks that will not leave you stranded due to running out of fuel. Was inspired by the white Western Star's fuel efficiency. So the Western Star's fuel efficiency and having vehicles stranded without fuel. So, so basically you're trying to do a video on like the most efficient trucks in the game. Is that kind of what I'm, I'm kind of understanding? For the TDI for the win, yeah. They've been holding Commodores. Holden. That's okay. I think I've driven a Holden. I think I drove. I drove a Holden when I was in uh, New Zealand. Actually, I was going to Hobbiton or the Lord of the Rings set. I think I drove a Holden.
But yeah, Daniels, I think that's a good video. But the only thing is a lot of fuel efficiency is dependent on your load. Like I can tell you that the White Western Star, I think it's pretty good on gas. As soon as you load it up, you're, you're going to... It's, it's consumption values are going to come up. Because it not, doesn't necessarily have a ton of torque. It's like 155k or something like that. One, I think it's 155 or 165. Somewhere around those lines. So that's something you have to consider is... A truck may be efficient just driving on by itself. But when you're fully loaded down, it's a whole different story. Like even... Even trucks like the 114 SD right 145,000 torque has pretty good consumption values just because of its its engine engine numbers say it has good good numbers on fuel capacity and fuel efficiency right but the thing is as soon as you load it down it it'll get up to pulling you know in the fours possibly even get close to touching five Crawl through. Just crawl through it. Do I have hands? I thought I took the hands off. What? I have hands off. <laughs> oh, high driver's hands on. There we go. This guy can't read. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's too early, guys. It's too early. It's too early. But yeah, I think a lot of a lot of consumption values are very dependent on load. Load pull. Really. It's Like that's why that's why a lot, in a lot of cases I just uh, I think a lot of consumption values of trucks that I've been currently seeing their their efficiency or their their fuel consumption is pretty much like spontaneous. Okay, what's going on here? Am I oh I'm just stuck on I'm high center on something. Oh yeah, trailer stuck on something. Okay, cool. Sounds good. It's true, Prime subs are free and you have no ads. But yes, subs or... I would say... Ads do help the channel. I haven't driven any Aussie cars, actually. I don't know. Is Holden an actual Aussie car? These three... These three trucks work on maps like a Vero Heroes where there is no fuel station. But the thing is, yeah, okay, I can see what you're talking about. But I mean, like, how do I say this? I mean, every truck can work on a Vero Hills. It's usually you're, you're not going to just go into a Vero Hills knowing there's no gas station and, uh, and not bring fuel, right? Oh, that's right. Glitch. 
What's up, Scorpio? Welcome in. Good to see ya. Yeah, it just it fuel. How do I say it? Yeah, I mean, there's only a few trucks in the game that having them fully loaded. I don't want to say has no effect, but the effects are they don't they're not a huge hit under load. And usually those trucks are like advanced special trucks. But I mean, how to say this? Like there's there's multiple maps that don't have. Well, actually, no, NAI does have a have a fuel a fuel area to get fuel from. But NAI also like truthfully, how do I say this? I've played NAI twice so far and Northern Ages installation, even though the fuel station is unlocked or you have to unlock it, I never actually went there to get fuel. It's so far out of the way. It's so hard to get to. It's just, it's not, I don't even treat NAI like it even has a fuel a fuel station, to be honest. I don't know. Does anybody else feel that way? Or am I the, the outlier here? But I mean, Daniels, I think this, you could probably, I think if you're just traversing through, let, let's say you do a video about like, okay, I need to go from a reactive zone all the way through reactive zone to, or say this, how about this? This is a good one. How about the medium log mission for Pine Line Bay, where you have to take a truck from Pine Line all the way to a Vireo and then back. Okay, because that's what I had to do. So I, I used the Forester. The Forester is super efficient, right? So legitimately, I think he burned like a half a tank of gas on the whole trip. So, I mean, that's... Yeah, I mean, that, that that's a pretty good direction if you're doing like... Maybe like cross-mission maps. Or cross-map cross, cross missions, I mean. You unlock it by delivering a semi-fuel at the entrance. Yeah, there's that for you. Yeah, but I mean, other than that, like who goes to that? Really? I mean, truthfully, who goes there? Testing the waters. No, I think scanning that we're going to do scanning the area. Oh, I don't want to do this, but I have to. But I actually have something very close. Very close to the gateway that I can just jump right through and go. So we're uh, we're cruising, guys. We're, we're still cruising. I don't know. I feel like how do I say this? That there's a tongue twister. Yeah. So how do I say this? I feel I feel like it would take more. It's almost like when you you're an NAI, right? You're like, oh, I need to get fuel. I don't have a fuel truck around. Let's go to the fuel station. So you go to the fuel station. You burn up all this fuel, you get fuel, you go back to where you're going to do your mission <laughs> and it's almost like you're back at square one because it's because right, it's NAI. It's it's not exactly the easiest. I don't know. That's just my. That's just my uh, my outlook on that, but I could go down this little slide here. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Feeling cute. Feeling cute. I might do a rock crawl today. Maybe we have a truck with a fuel add-on, but usually I think in that case, I'm I'm just uh, I'm bringing my fuel in at that point. Like I'm already like I'm I'm going to uh, Erska River. It's much easier to get get fuel at Erska River and then traverse over to NAI than going through NAI, going all the way through NAI and then getting up there. And then filling up a tanker and then placing it. You see what I'm saying? But I guess, hey, e yeah, either or could work. But I don't know. I just think it takes just a time sink and yeah, I don't find the, uh, dude, should I do this? You're scouting any eye right now? Oh, good luck, man.
Yeah, I, honestly, man, like my, my approach to NAI is I'm bringing everything in. I, that's that's legitimately well you have to because I don't think there are any storehouses there right but I mean I brought all my support in placed it and then that was it I think that's one of the faster ways to get through I guess So how do I say this? Uh, let's. I'll go take a look here. Let's go take a look. Oh, good old, good old Amor. Oh man, the old water pump. Even though it's not water pump, it's actually a gas pump. I didn't delete this. Yeah, so you have n you have nothing. You're deriving no cargo from here. And this, I don't know why this is here. This is, you can't even switch to it. I hate that they, they started doing this, but it's what it is what it is. I probably should have deleted some of these trailers just to clean it up, but it's fine. But yeah, I mean, you're not, I mean, think about it, getting to this place. Like you'd have to, if you're coming from this side, you got to traverse this, not fall through the ice as well, which this is definitely doable. Just crossing this and then jumping up through this path and then, yeah, and getting there, right? This is probably the easiest route if you're just crossing here and then moving that way. But like over here. I don't know. I don't know. I, I would hate to be up here doing something because I know there's missions that, that take stuff up here and then have to come back <laughs> to this area. Basically have to come back centralized map and then branch out again. And by the time you branch out, you've already burned up so much fuel. And then, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just looking at uptimes. Like I'm trying to maximize my uptime, I guess. Yeah, but I don't think there's a lot of missions by that gas station. I just know from playing on normal mode and going to get fuel from that area was just very unpleasant. Took a long time wasn't wasn't something I wanted to do and I, I knew that the next time I was going to play it I wasn't even going to touch it after I unlocked it that's right man if your wheels aren't turning you're not earning okay um let's see now we're going to look at map runner Because I don't like these seismic vibrator missions. Okay, scanning, scanning. Okay, cool. Let's go to that one first. This one is like up mirror ish, like this over here ish. So let's go do this. Yeah, we're cheating, you know. Referencing the playbook, basically, you know. Okay, I have to ask I have to ask everyone a question here. Do you guys think that they've uh they've hamstrung American trucks too much with the fuel consumption. Yeah, I'm glad this one's on flatland too. <laughs> you just flipped your yar in NAI. Ooh. Yikes, dude. Okay, so I think a lot of people feel the same way.
like I can I can say this man this truck probably this one right here would probably be I don't know imagine like 20 20 percent like 25 percent better fuel e fuel economy on this truck here being a highway I think a lot more folks would use it No, I agree. I agree. I think that they they just do that as part of a challenge, but I don't I don't see how modern American trucks have crazy fuel consumption. Three. Where's this at? Two. I think it's like there. Yep, I think it's like here. Yeah. Oh, they did the Oshkosh so dirty. Oh, they did. They did. I honestly, they did. They did the dairy special dirt. I think they did all the dairies dirty with fuel consumption. It's just so it's so bad. Yeah, it's just so bad. I don't know, man. Um, around, take that first. Okay, yeah. Back down the hill. The only ones that feel hamstrung in the 5600TS and their special class engines. The 5600TS has a special class engine? What do you mean? It's the same engine that's been in the base game. Or the twin steer, the cat. Yeah. That's like a, that's an old time engine, man. That's like a base game. That's a Pedro Bay engine. Add the new Tesla truck. Yeah, they are kind of very inferior to the, the Russian design, yeah. I gotta say though, here, here's, here's why I think Sabre did help out the Dairy Special. If you look at its collision model updates, and I posted them on videos recently, from where it was when it started on the PTS, they they did help it out a good bit because it was going to be in some trouble. Yeah, it definitely was going to be in some trouble. But yeah, with with some other with some other things, yes, I think I think its balance is also its actual stability is not not that good too. It's literally like average. V16 engines burn so much fuel. Yeah, they do. I mean, yeah, that's that's true. But like that's that's kind of been a known thing, right? Since since onset of SnowRunner. Let's see what the, what the consumption values for the KZGT versus the V16. What's this, the M2450, right? Let's check it out. Let's actually look at the numbers. KZGT 11.5. Twenty four fifty, twelve point five. So yeah, it's one point yeah, one point higher. Honestly, it still doesn't explain. I think one point higher doesn't it shouldn't how do I say this? It's crazy that it's 
It doesn't really explain much, to be honest, in my opinion. One point higher shouldn't be that much more consumption value than what, what you see, because, I mean, some of those Russian heavies, they definitely don't have any type of consumption values compared to what that looks like on paper. Yeah, it just had all-wheel drive to start, yeah. And they gave it always on features. Yeah, Dairy 4 had a weak engine. Yeah, the Dairy 4 had the the 27, the 2700T, which is like 192. Oh man, I remember that thing with with that engine. I remember it. Honestly, I almost feel as though they should have just made every truck that could have all-wheel drive and diff lock, maybe just give them a switchable, unless they were absolutely 100% like locked in all the time, like confirmed. Like even if it was a, even if it, the truck was based off of something else. Yeah, I don't know. How do I remember all these numbers and letter de designations? I hear you call the white western star the 4964. Oh, <clears throat> I don't know, man. But then again, there's a lot of things I don't remember. I honestly, I used to be a lot better, Max. If if we would have went back to like season six, my memory of of like weights of vehicles and yeah. Yeah, man, I, it was good. I think right now, my I think what I have trouble memorizing which I think I'm getting a little bit better at is like the map names. Sometimes I'll just be like, oh, um, uh, let's see this map on North Carolina. And I have to like, think about it. Like some of them confuse me. Like, let's say mountain river, mountain river is Alaska. Mountain Ridge is Scandinavia. So like I get those mixed up sometimes. Yeah. The Royal, the, yeah. The Royal BM 17s engine. Yeah, exactly. You were excited to get the 6455B. Uh, where is this at? I think it's like up here, Tad. Yo, what's up, Navin? Welcome in, man. Navin, I'm already thinking about uh, crop rotations, man. They're on my mind. Oh. Wait, I think it's over here. Yeah, I think it's over. I think it's back. No, this this add-on stinks with this bar. That would make a 200 liter tank Freightliner M9 16A1 and as of bearable. Yeah, I think so. I mean, yeah, if you could if you could switch off like all, your all-wheel drive, you know what I'm saying? I, I think it's, you don't always need, you know, all-wheel drive on all the time, right? When you kind of have, let's see, I think it's like over here. I think it's actually like up here. Oh, there it is. I think it's like over. You expect no less? And Pipeline Bay, yeah, that's a good one. That's another one, W, yeah. Yeah, that's another one. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't like it. I didn't let it all go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Dude, the map names are crazy, man. I used to have those all down. I mean, I, th I think I still, I think I still can probably go through and and name them all, but. I think I like what SD1 says. He just calls it map one, map two, map three. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Which I'm, I'm kind of thinking I should just adopt the same. Okay, there, up to that place. Got it. Okay.
back down we go here there there here i actually might get gas yeah, i think i need to get gas actually yeah we'll stop and get gas here and over this way um i think the point is like right here ish yeah, I think it's like here, so I'm actually gonna go like put it like here. I think it's like right there. It works perfectly for two map regions, yeah. Yeah, not so much for four map because yeah, the sequence is the sequence is kind of uh subjective, right? I mean I know folks that play like NAI as the second map in uh in a more which kind of boggles boggles my mind actually but yeah i don't know i don't know but i can see the reasoning for it i don't know i don't know they i can see the reasoning for it i guess but then again i think for me i think I don't know, I, I kind of like seeing the, the rocket launch as like the last mission, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like the big, the climax, and I feel like the end of Amor would be very anticlimactic for me if I didn't have something to look at as like the 100%, you know what I'm saying? Like watching the rocket launch as like the final hurrah. I don't know, but I mean to each his own. I just think like crafting all the metal beams also from Erska River, like shuttling those metal rolls up to craft metal beams or whatever you have to do, that didn't really appeal to me either. But I mean, there are two ways to skin a cat or multiple ways to skin a cat as, as the old timers say. I think it's, that's the expression for it, right? Or am I totally wrong? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's true. You could find it difficult to open the Cherno map, yeah. Or open the tunnel, yeah, yeah. It could be, it could be a why. But then again, it's like, after you get to the point where you have to haul the trailer into Cherno, it's like, you're already kind of stuck. Because you have to open the gateway, okay, right? You gotta open the gateway, and then you have to repair that bridge, right? With, with medium logs in Cosmo right when you step through. Like, I don't know about you, but I don't know if I want to pull that rocket trailer through that. You you could. Actually, you could. You probably could. With the truck you're probably pulling, you probably could just go down into that ice in that broken bridge section and not have to even do that task or whatever it is. And, and still pull that through in, in, in relative ease. So, yeah, actually, let me just retract that statement. Whoa! Ooh. Almost, my friend. Almost. Yeah, I am. I kind of am that way. You don't know if most people play that way? I don't think most people do. I kind of am. I don't know. That's just me. I guess I, I probably am a lot different than other people. I like to have all my ducks in a row, so I know I don't have to come back. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if I... Yeah, I don't know. Corners got you? Yeah. Yeah, I just... I don't know. No! Okay, good. Only one damage. Can we get some, uh, some multipliers here? Maybe I should just uh, decrease my tires. My tire deflation to actually get grip on roads <clears throat> be funny you know the, the funny thing is people are probably going to use that if the tire deflation comes they're going to be like okay I'll just put my tire deflation on and then I'll just run down roads and then I think we all know what happens when you move fast down most roads in SnowRunner literally it's just going to be like damage central
What's up, Paystar? Welcome in. Good to see ya. Oh, this is my turn. <laughs> Nothing like throwing a high range gearbox on. Drifting around until you crash, yeah. I mean, I remember the days I used to actually just, if I was done with something, I would seriously sometimes just go grab a truck and take a drive. No joke, it's it's weird. I don't know if anybody's ever done that. But I, I would just go, just take a take a truck out and just drive around. You still do that? <laughs> but now, but it's weird. It's because like now, I almost, I do feel like I, I, I do enjoy just actually running the mission. And when I don't have a mission to run, I'm like, oh, well, what am I gonna do? That's why I might slow down on this playthrough so we can get the Azov Atom and actually use it on, on hard mode. Which is probably going to be super overpowered. Well, maybe not super overpowered, but... It's probably going to be a pretty sweet support vehicle, I, I gotta say that. That part I'm probably excited about. I think this is it right here. What? I see it go to zero. Nice, it's done. Okay, what's next? Um, I know there was something else. Not it's all connected, not running dry. Going with the flow. I think that's what it is now. Well, the two towers too. Yeah, there we go. We're just going with the flow. Oh, cargo containers. Okay, I probably can do that. Coupled with... The two towers. Oh, yikes, dude. Four cargo containers? Are you nuts? Metal beams. Oh, man, this is a lot of back and forth, back and forth. Okay, we're going to switch trucks here. be a lot of back and forth here. What's up, Tito? Welcome in. Hydro nuclear plant. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, man. Like, they got hydro and then they got nuclear. skippage here. I'm not driving through all this all this stuff. Actually, can I skip all this? I wonder if I can just go like, nah, maybe not. Maybe not. I probably could, but I'll pass. Is this a new shortcut? No. I probably could go like this and take this way. I mean, and then hit this to avoid all this stuff here. You probably can just go right through these woods here, spit you out here on the soft road and then just like roll through. I mean, we try it. I guess let's try it. What's up, Akimoto? Welcome in. Let's try it. Shouldn't be that bad. It's going good. Good to see ya. Yeah, 
think it's worth it. This could be a good shortcut, actually. Decent shortcut, actually. Yeah, decent. Yeah, I just skipped uh, that puddle. Skip those puddles over there. Actually, this is not bad. Not bad at all. I kind of like that. And then there's this one that just avoids this whole puddle area. Yikes. Okay, never mind. I like it. I like it. We might use it. Yep, yep, yep. Not much. Just some nerding out, talking about stuff. You know, the norm, the huge. Destroys the engine, yeah. Putting a nuclear power plant in the shadow of a dam. <laughs> yeah. I, I very much so. Okay, so metal beams. Yikes, dude. Um, I have to come back this way, so I actually might... Yeah. I'm gonna go grab the, the slabs first, I think. I'll grab the beams on the way back. Slabs in the cargo containers. Let me go grab the beams. We might just try to overstack the mess out of this. Yeah, this might be a nice little little overstack job. Alright. Oh, you're welcome, man. Hopefully I didn't, uh, I didn't discourage you. I can do that sometimes. Watching JJ's stream last night, he was playing Expedition with the Scout 800. <clears throat> it runs really well in that game. Oh, I would expect it does. Yeah, I would expect it does, man. Yeah, I definitely would expect it's probably a much better truck in that game. I don't know. The Scout's pretty... I don't know, Honestly, it's pretty good in this game, too, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. It does have its issues with balance, that's for sure. I think it can be a little bit thirsty as, as well. I'm sure you guys already know that stuff. Concrete slabs, containers... trying to think here. I guess I can probably just do this. And we'll do. I'll actually got an idea. Isn't the Kotko Canyon US? I, I don't know. Good question. I have no idea. The Kotko is a DLC, yeah. Yeah, with the jet tires is pretty solid, I think. I like it with jet tires. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Because I have that little bar on the front that stops it from moving forward too much. Perfect, dude. Maybe. The Kotko is Eastern European. Oh.
Concrete slabs, two here. Copy that, let's roll out. So how is uh how is JJ liking uh, expeditions? It looks like he's liking it a lot actually. He's been playing it a good bit. That's good. I wonder how close he is to finishing. Wow, dude, this is actually working really well. Very well. It's based off the Evico Massif, which is Italian, and the Massif itself is based on the Defender. Oh, nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Navin. Yeah, I probably could do. I wonder if I could pack what I currently have in. I'm actually not going to pack it. to come back here once again actually from the other side to get the uh, two more cargo containers he's like me and he's almost done now just a few more missions and upgrades wow dude but I don't think he wants to play again really he said that he says it's fun but not replayable I I'd like to hear his thoughts man I need to stop that to stream sometime yeah, I, I need to stop in. So wait, there's still he still has to hunt down more upgrades. So this is what I was talking about, man. Like you're going to finish the game or be close to finishing a game and then you're going to find like crucial upgrades for trucks that make them super good, right? Or much more viable that you've been wanting to use. But now it's at the end of the game or end of the base game and you're just now finding the one <laughs> The one upgrade of 200, right, that you need. It's like, it's just ridiculous. That's just my, my take, though. I think it's just way too many upgrades. Just way too many. I, I, th well, I mean, there's a lot in SnowRunner, don't get me wrong, but upgrades are kind of tied to, or I would say they're driver unlocks. That's kind of what it is in, in SnowRunner. There's more driver unlocks than actual, like, upgrades. Oh, I gotta stop here, too. I'm gonna come hang out. I think I'm gonna stop by. Maybe if I have, I got some stuff I gotta do today. But if he's streaming today, I might, I might stop by and just hang out. I do like watching him. I like watching, uh, I like watching Telemenus a lot too as well. I like those two guys are, are pretty, pretty sweet to watch. I do have a good, a good, a good time watching them. <clears throat> A game about expeditions to give you the best off-road gear ASAP? You would think. <laughs> you would, I mean, logically, that makes sense, right? If you're going on an expedition, like you, you kind of want the best things. I don't know, man. I feel like they, they kind of dropped the ball on, on making, like, I don't know, like tire unlocks, an upgrade that you like find and or like complete for a mission. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. I'm just a guy. I'm just a, a dude that has an opinion, I guess, but small opinion. Come on, I want you to, to winch up to this. There we go. Now that's what we're talking. There's an overstack for you. This week he's streaming in the evenings and not normal time. Okay, maybe I can stop in sometime. I'll try to catch him. Yeah, SD1's video on on trucks for uh, that could come to SnowRunner. I loved it. Great video, man. Seriously, great video. I loved, I loved like the six by six 
the six by six like Maz or like the the cab overs, they look so good. What was I forget the name of that truck? What's it like the the was the Maz like six five something six five five? Was kind of like another e iconic truck from the series. I forget what it's called. I want that one because so the six four five five B is like the longest standing truck in the series, right? But what's the other one? I forget what the name was. Nate back at it again with the overstack. Yeah. Got to get it done, man. Yeah, the 6.5XX the six five XX series. Yes. That's what it is. Thank you. That's what I want to see. Now deliver it in first person. Hey, there we go. Yeah, right. Goofy looking Maz with the huge body and tiny cab. Wait, which one is that? I gotta know. Which one? Oh no, please don't fall off. Will I glitch through these trees? Let's see. I think. I think I will. Yeah! Nice. Yeah, which one was that? Est Esty knows. What's up, Dave? Welcome in, man. Good to see you. As always. The E something? I could pull this up. Let me deliver this cargo and I'll pull up his video. I'll pull it up. Oh no, this is going to be interesting going down this, all this mud. Maybe not. OHDs, let's go. Let's go. He streams on YouTube usually at 11.45 Pacific Standard Time. Okay. Yeah, I have. I think I have notifications set, so I, I'll see it. E seven four two nine. It would be a call up. Oh yeah, I seen that one. Yeah, I seen that one. I'll I'll pull up the video so we can actually like see it here in a second. If I can, if I can make it there, this this part right here is going to be the the breaking point. I feel it. I can feel it in my bones right now. These rocks. Ooh. I can't believe these... These concrete slabs have literally not moved. I, I just don't... I don't get it. I'm, I'm very happy. Very... Very impressed. Let's go tire sweeping. No HD tires, baby. Who needs diff lock? Who needs diff lock? Yikes. Just get yourself a, a 1430. That's going to be my saying, I think, from now on. You know, like, Lone Wolf has the get yourself a loaf. Mine's going to be get yourself a 1430. Yikes, dude. Yo. Where's the, the mission? Oh. Straight ahead. Dumb, dumb. Actually, I'll go this way. This week, his brothers are home from school, so he can't stream in his normal time because they're using the internet. Oh, okay. <clears throat> that makes it rough. That makes it rough. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'm definitely going to swing by.
It does have a lot of power. It's unreal. No joke. It's it's kind of it's crazy. Can I can I pack this? Come on, dude. You can You can pack in the back. Give me excuses here. It always wants to go to the forefront of the trailer watch, I think. Ah, maybe it doesn't. It's probably just a confliction with unpacked cargo and an awkward angle or something. You have a suspicion that tire physics are different when you're towing a truck than when you're driving it. Toto truck will sometimes push the truck I'm driving. And that truck would definitely not be moving faster if we were driving. <clears throat> you mean like when you're in like a sticky situation? Yeah, that sometimes happens. It sometimes happens. The truck has more weight when someone did. Oh, that's oh when someone's sitting in it, it has more weight. But huh, that's interesting. I mean, let's go stop engine, restore crane. We got the other conning tower up, or not conning tower, but. Why do I keep saying that? Conning tower. A conning tower is on a battleship. It's like on a on a like a warship. Cooling tower. Dang, dude. There's that's a lot of. Okay, so let's let me check out SD One's video it. here. We, we did, did it. it. No. <laughs> <laughs> let's do this. Let's go YouTube. Let's go SD1. Okay. Um, let me watch these uh, ads here. Okay, cool. Let's look at this, guys. Let's look at this. Okay. Where was... I actually like... I think this is a good idea. Um, I'm not gonna watch all this. If you guys wanna watch this video for yourselves, um, go check it out. Go to SD1, just type in SD1 on YouTube or on Google, you'll find him. Yeah, pretty much the biggest YouTuber for SnowRunner, um, advocate for the series. If we lose him at any point, we're, we're doomed. So go check him out. This video is amazing, by the way. But here's, I want to just talk about the trucks that uh, I was mentioning here. I think this was it. Is this it right here? No, it's not. I think it's like number six. I think it's this is it right here, seven. This is what I want to see. Let's go. That looks so good. Two variants in the old games, six by six and six by two. This truck dates back to the old spin tires beta. Look at this. Look at that. Yep, almost as iconic as the Kras 255. So it's, yeah, it's, it's an old time. Dude, this would be great as a craning operation where it's mounted on the back. I like the one trucks with the, uh, the crane mount in front where it comes out to the front, hooks up. Where's that one that Naked Dave was talking about? I think it's like here. Yeah, here it is. Here's another good collab right here. This is great. 
Look at that thing. Just like as a specialized tow vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Look at it. It has such a, it just looks, it's so weird, but look, like these are, these are like OHS tires. Like, look how good they look. Most RU trucks have a crane in the front, even in real life. That's, I mean, that'd be awesome if that was in real life. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That looks so good. Support truck, heavy hauler, like right there, boom. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? This, okay, I gotta say this. Here's my three favorites from here. I do like, honestly, I do like his, the, C, the C260, and I like a lot of these trucks he has in here, but I think my favorite that he had on this video is the 65XX, which was number seven, um, number nine, and number 10 are like my, this is, oh man. Mud Runner, dude, it does still look good. Is this, is, it, is this with the mod? Like the graphics mod on it or what, or no? Dude, it's literally a, a twin steer without the twin steer. I have MR, I just don't have it installed at the moment. I do have it. Dude, it would feel, it looks so good, the long hood. Six by six, man. Seriously, excellent video, my man. That was, that was awesome. I really, really enjoyed that. I, I think I actually like got my lunch. And then I, I, I like watched that video because <laughs> it was like so good just to watch like eat some food, watch a good video. It was nice. So thank you. Testing now. It's it's not all connected. Not clear picture. I think it's okay. I'm not doing that. Not right now. But we will accept that. This is what we need. Going with the flow. Um, I'll use the 5070 for this. Why not, right? Let's do it. I think we have water deliveries coming up too. So, yikes. Making money today, guys. We're making money. Episode five so far, we are 43%. So we're up 4% four, 4 today on completion. Let's go. Making our way. Why not use a sideboard semi? I probably should. <clears throat> I probably should. But, uh, <clears throat> actually, no, let's go back to, I'm going to the garage, so. I'm leaving that, that sideboard semi on the other truck for now, just because I'm going to use it, so. And I'm only picking up two pieces of cargo, so they'll be fine. And this one, this one was free. That's the only reason why I'm using it, to be quite honest. This was from a task, actually, so, yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Living off the land, that's right, W. You got it, hit it right on the head, man. What we're doing, we're living off the land.
it would be a cool concept, man. If, if like, if you damaged cargo, there was like a penalty or something like that, or they wouldn't accept it. That would change the, the whole way that I drive this game. <laughs> that would probably just... I don't know if you could even overstack at that point. Honestly, I would like... I think... In some way, I would like to take off... A lot of the stuff on these trailers, but... It would turn it into Death Stranding. Is that how Death Stranding is? Man, how is that sun in my face? I have like these... These like block windows down here, so like... The sun really doesn't like shine through, shine through, but... It's kind of bright. I could cut through again, but I need to get gas first just to make sure. One tapped. There's a two tapper. Consequences for damaged cargos working. Yeah, working real life too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, they won't take that stuff. Hmm. I probably could cut through. Actually, we might do this. Even though it's dark, I might try it. Alright, Daniels. Hope you get some sleep, man. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate you uh, sharing your, your details on your on your new video. Hopefully it goes well, man. Let me know how it turns out. It's a nice little shortcut. It's not bad. Bypass a little bit of mud. Jump into another. about you guys anytime I like I switch off diff or I switch off all-wheel drive and I'm just like pushing high down a dirt road I immediately feel I slow down unless but it's it's not as bad if I have weight if I had this thing packed up it probably it just it doesn't feel as bad but it's weird you can feel it Makes me think how front heavy this vehicle actually is. Ooh, don't you even do it. Yeah, the, the steering with all-wheel drive on, yeah, absolutely. There's a huge difference. <clears throat> That's why, like, every time I'm maneuvering, even if I'm not, if, if I'm on, like, pavement, I'm trying to, like, maneuver a sharp turn or, like, get my trailer turned around, like, I'll quickly just activate all-wheel drive just to, just so I can have that turning increased or decreased turning circle. Is it decreased? Yeah, turning circle is decreased. This place, man. This mud here. Oh, this mud here is crazy. 
it like the mud literally like meets the pavement and it's like a drop off you can kind of see Let's see if I can like yeah you can see it right there I mean we, when we took that boar through there the one time that stuff was so difficult okay so spin around Yeah, that was crazy, man. There's like a ledge where the surface like meets each other. And it just made my life very fun. Top three fruits? Ooh. Like, you mean like eating? Like to eat? To snack on? Yikes. Uh, man. I don't know. I do like a lot of fruits. Uh, off the top of my head, I'm probably going to say... I ne Here's the thing. I, I never liked pineapple until I had pineapple in Hawaii. Like... I can't explain it. It's it. They taste different, man. They taste different there. It's it's unreal. I can't really explain it too well, but um, I'm gonna say pineapple, raspberries. I love raspberries, man. They're so good. Um, I do like banana. I'm starting to like. Like the melons a little bit more too as well. I forget. I forget what they all are. Like honeydew, cantaloupe. I'm starting to like those a little bit. But I probably need to eat more fruit. I just haven't been. You had it on pizza? Dude, I don't think it belongs on pizza. Oh gosh, am I going to start up an argument here? <laughs> I don't like pineapple on pizza. My wife is. My wife's one of those. And, uh, you know, she's Italian, I'm Italian. She likes pineapple on her pizza, I don't. I don't think it belongs. I don't know. To each his own. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm doing something. We made it through, but it's fine. I guess we didn't. Oh, I didn't miss the, the area. Pineapple on pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> is a felony in Italy <laughs> that's funny <laughs> yeah I don't know do you know actually I'm pretty sure pizza was actually invented by the Chinese Am I right about that? I'm, I'm pretty sure it was. I thought pizza was like made like it was first invented by Chinese, actually. Get some gas here while I'm at it. I probably should bring him out. I feel like I have him in a bad spot here. You can't deal with the texture of cooked pineapple. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it, actually. Grapes, banana, apple. Actually, I do like apples a lot, too. I do like apples a lot. Man, apple pie, dude, dude, any type of cin cinnamon dessert, like any type of thing that has cinnamon in it is just lovely. How do I get those bars to show up under? Wait, wait, bars to show up under the truck for diff lock and wheel level. What do you mean? What bars? Like here, these bars? I know, apple pie with cinnamon is so good, yeah. Like to see them when I swap.
Wait, which wait which bars? I'm not sure. It's a wait, guys. What is he talking about? And I was holding right bumper like this. Wait a second. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm not sure what you mean by that. What's up, Jelly Beans? Welcome in. The green red axles. Oh. Okay, so that happens. Okay, I'll show you what this happens. This happens when I do this. This is telling you I'm going to damage my diff lock. So you have to turn it off. That's what you saw. That's what you saw. So I have it on. It's telling me I don't need them. I'm going to damage them. I turn it off. It's to avoid damage. Yeah, that's, that's what that is. That's what that is. Because usually when you're using a diff lock and in a scenario that you really don't need it, it's going to damage your, your trucks. It's going to damage your truck, basically, your gearbox. I think it's 25% damage, I think so. Or 25 damage or something along those lines. What's up, Urcoop? Welcome in. Welcome in, Wombat, by the way. Do you like a good scotch malt? Honestly, I don't even know if I've ever had. I'm definitely not a, not keen on, on alcohol, but I do. Every now and then I'll have a bourbon. Just a straight up bourbon on ice, and that's pretty much it. One and done. And then I have to go to bed. Because that basically just makes me fall asleep. Tip my top hat to you, sir. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Good spiced rum. <clears throat> so you like rum like Kraken, I guess? I think it's called that. That's probably considered like black rum. You love rye? I don't even know what that is. I've never even tasted that. Never tasted rye. <clears throat> I used to drink. Well, I didn't used to drink. I mean, if I would have like a mixed drink, like it would be like, I don't know. At, at some point I've tried like Kraken and, and root beer. It's unreal. Kraken and root beer, root beer is unreal, but Rise just Canadian whiskey? Oh, okay, I gotcha. But yeah, <clears throat> if you have Kraken and I think it's, oh yeah, root beer, it basically just tastes like root beer. <laughs> it's weird. Dangerous. So, be advised. I don't suggest uh, consuming a lot of it. Very sugary too, by the way. <clears throat> Which I don't do well with sugar. There we go, baby. Let's go. Water stations. Stop. You were alcoholic for 30 years, so stay away from all of them now? Yeah. My brother is a is a recovering addict. My mom was a recovering addict, um, drug addict, so I kind of stay away from a lot of things. <clears throat> I rage quit SR last night after flipping CT 681. Ooh. I think so. I don't know. I don't know how root beer is made, but root beer is awesome, man. I love root beer. Root beer, ginger ale, even though I don't really drink pop a lot or soda, people call it. Proper folk call it soda. I don't know. What what does everybody else call soda? Pop? Pop? Oh, here we go. Water tanks. This is this is great. We love this. We love it. Um, do I have a low saddle anywhere? Looks like it's my pay star. Soda poppin'. <laughs> uh, that's a streamer, right? 
I know Soda Poppin. I can't say I'm a huge fan. He, he kind of freak. I, I think he does it. He does it for the, for the views. Coffee is the best. That's right, Ranger. Tell you, man, black coffee. Get all your anti antioxidants and uh, what's it called? Phytochemicals. And a good cup of black. He's a washed up streamer. Dude, I'm a washed up streamer. We don't use soda or pot, we use Coke. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna drop this off, I guess, here. Um, I'm just gonna go, honestly guys, I'm just gonna go buy the water trailer. I think there's actually one, actually, where was the free one at? Is it on Pine Line? Let me see. No, it's not. I know there's a free one somewhere, but whatever. I'm just gonna go buy it, dude. I don't care. Money isn't in a thing here, you know what I'm saying? Bean juice for life. <laughs> do you do a pinch of salt in your black coffee? No. Lednor, no. I don't. Is that is that a good thing to do? It's in reactive? Oh, that's okay. I'll just buy it. Appreciate that, Jelly Beans. Thank you for the info. I'll just buy it, whatever. We got like 800k. What? Do we have 800k? 789. 44%. Okay, let's go. Dr. Pepper's gravy mixed in with MRO Corona. Tastes similar to Pe Dr. Pepper. Wow. I love Dr. Pepper, dude. I do. I'm a fan. I'm actually, I don't know. I do like a lot of soda. It's just, I don't drink it because it's its just not good for me. Salt dolls, the bit of the bitter. Oh. If the coffee isn't good quality. Oh, that's good. That's good advice. It cuts the edge. So it doesn't like have that bite to it then, right? Gotcha. So here's a quick, here's a, a little, a little, um, tidbit of information for y'all. Actually, is this thing filled? Wait, no, it's not. Tell me it's not filled. Okay. It's not. Um, my brother's, uh, not my brother, my, my friend's brother was in the, was in the Marines and they used to talk about for, to wake themselves up, they would, they would actually make something called, they, they called it jet fuel. And it's basically you, you take Coca-Cola and you brew coffee with Coca-Cola. And I don't even know what the product would even taste like, but just, you can just imagine. But I guess it, it woke you up. Oh, cinnamon grounds? I heard putting like nutmeg as well on top of the coffee before brewing too. Is a good is a good one. Okay, so I think this will do all of these. Maybe, maybe not, no. This is a two tripper, I think. Did they change this? What's up, Larpup? Good to see you, man. Did that with Mountain Dew once? Wow, dude. Added an extra hard valve. <laughs> dude, I never would even consider drinking coffee they, they basically say because of the sugar i think they said that it ruins the coffee pot because like you're heating up the sugars and stuff like that which is crazy amounts of sugar in, in any type of soda right soda pop pop soda whatever you want to call it coke but yeah it just uh it, it basically ruins your coffee pot See where I gotta go first. 
One, two, three. Okay, cool. All right, sounds good. I might actually... Mm, yeah, I guess I'll just cruise down. We'll take the long route, hit that one, touch this one. I probably have to go come back, fill up, and then depending on how much I have. Yo, Leonard, thank you for that gifted sub to LARPUP, man. Thank you so much. Enjoy no ads, LARPUP. You put a drop of Tabasco sauce under your eye. What? That's wild. That's wild. I would just, uh, I would just do like, uh, if you guys ever seen the movie Dumb and Dumber, where Harry is like driving at night, and he just starts like smacking himself in the face like really hard. That's kind of what I do. I'll just like smack myself a couple good times. It's kind of like whenever you, like I used to be into lifting, I would go like to to like deadlift or something like that, like a pretty heavy set of weight, like back in the day when I was actually a strong man, and. Uh, have somebody just smack me on the back really hard and it just it just sends this shockwave through you. It's like oh let's go yo what's up Noah welcome in man got the stream this morning oh you're asking about the task problem okay yeah let me so if you could we have a bunch of people in chat that probably could help you with that too as well so like go ahead and type out and describe your issue and let's see if uh let's see if we can help you figure it out just kind of just describe what's happening. This is in Wisconsin, I'm guessing. Black Badger. You're basically, from what I understand, you're you're not able to see any of the trucks that you're supposed to rescue on the tasks or something like that. I wonder if anybody else can understand what problem this is. So I know this, I know if you're doing a task on a map <clears throat> and you, how do I say this, or if you're not in the garage of the same map that the task is on, or not in a truck on that map, it will not show you where it's at. <clears throat> okay, so the problem I'm having is on season three of Wisconsin, the task to have the truck that needs to be delivered, refueled, repaired, or not working. The trucks in those tasks are not on my map. They're just gone. Hmm. Okay, let's let's take a look here. So, Black Badger. Okay, which task is it? You can reset it. I think he's tried to reset it before and it didn't work. I think it's lost, but not forgot. Is it lost? No. It's called Quarry Incidents. Trying to figure out where this is at. Quarry, quarry. Quarry Incidents. Deliver the Lodestar. You did that task last night at work. Also having problems with lost but not forgotten. Hmm. Lost but not forgotten. This is the Hummer. So lost but not forgotten. So wait. If you go to the location, so like here's the Hummer for lost for not forgotten. If you're tracking it, it's maybe it's not showing you there, but if you actually go to this location, is it actually there? This 
That's, I guess for that, no, it's completely gone. Really? Is Naked Dave still in the chat? I wonder if he has any information on this. I don't know. I think the only way I would say to, to fix this is resetting. And then for this one, I, I know the Lodestar's here. I'm pretty sure he's actually sitting right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's actually sitting right here. If he's not there, the only way I think you could fix this... Yeah, if Urkoop just said it, it worked for him. I wonder what's going on. That's very weird. Because you you legitimately should be able to... to just uh, reset and everything kind of works right away. I know sometimes it won't track. If if I'm I don't know it's weird. Sometimes things won't won't track and I have to kind of like mess around and like jump in a different truck and then get back in another one. When you're on the map screen with the task selected and you highlight and click the Hummer 2, does it does the map move? Oh yeah, try that, Mac. Oh, try that what Mac said. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. You could be verifying you could do that, verifying your uh, game files. That's another thing you could do. Swap, you might want to swap zones to reset. I would do the, I would verify your game files actually. That might be, that might be something to do. <clears throat> I would try that. I don't know what you play on. Do you play on PC? Or, yeah, you could have installed a mod. It could be, there could be a mod that might be kind of interacting with it. I don't know. You play on Xbox? I wonder if there's a way to verify your game files on Xbox. I don't know, this could be a mod thing. It's, yeah, I don't know. IT mods on, on Wisconsin too? Yeah, I wonder if he's having issues like that too. Oh dude, I should have got gas, but it's okay. I'm gonna go down here and get gas. Yeah, I think ver trying to verify your files would probably be the first thing I do. Um, the swapping zones. Yeah, that's another thing. I Maybe swapping zones, deploying a truck in that zone, drive around for a second, and then, and then go back to the garage. And then go back to your the zone you're working on and see if that works. There's not a way to verify on Xbox I know of. Oh, that's not good. Reinstall on console, but the thing is like if you reinstall, don't you lose all your files? Okay, I have to go back anyways. <clears throat> I have to go back anyways. I don't have enough to fill that up and there's no reason for me to just actually I have to go get gas, so I have to go down here. Wait, can I get back? I can get back. Yeah, I can get back. Cloud saving? If he has cloud save, you could do that and just reinstall the game. If if there's an option to keep his file or his save file, yes. Everything is saved in the cloud so you don't lose everything? Okay, that's good. I would ask you if you want to keep your files. Okay, that's good. That's a good thing. Okay, so you you delete and reinstall last night with no luck. What? Still? Hmm. That's interesting, man. I wonder. He's on Xbox. He's on Xbox, yeah. I honestly have never heard of this happening. Anytime I didn't, something wasn't tracking or showing up, the reset always worked. I've only ever had I run into something where I've had to verify my files like one time. You know what I'd do? I'd contact Saber support. Yep, I'd contact Saber support. So that's what I'd do. That's probably going to be the best thing to do, actually. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, actually going to the task giver's location and then maybe, maybe, yeah, resetting from there. That could be an option. Yeah, they do. They respond pretty quick. I went, I think in a timely fashion, I wouldn't say it's like super quick, but yeah. You've reset it a few times. It hasn't worked. Okay. Yeah, I want to say I think contacting Saber Support is going to be your best option. I would say just leave those things and then uh, continue doing missions while they, uh, while you throw the inquiry in. I mean, hopefully you have enough to do in Wisconsin and give you enough time to kind of like still play and then them to kind of like look at it. Yeah, you could go to the official Discord and you even could go to the official Discord here. Let me check, check this out. You could do something like this. Official Discord might be a good thing too, because that's another way to like actually get help. Is go to the official Discord, which is like this. Go to like uh, SnowRunner help, and then maybe throw in bug reports. You you can maybe type something out with for bug reports here as well. So I would go to like SnowRunner help. This is where I probably would post first. Go to bug reports. I'd post here as well and just say this is a repost, but then I'd also contact Saber support. That's probably what I would do. I need a discord. You're probably right. You're probably right. I just don't want to manage a discord, I guess. Hopefully it gets it. They get it worked out for you, man. I hate, I hate seeing that happen to people. Yo, what's up, Holes? Welcome in. Okay, I need to do something here. I, I can't do this anymore. You gotta come outside the garage. <laughs> yeah, no, you can you can use you can use Discord on a phone as well. So if you have a smartphone. Yeah. You can just use a smartphone. Just download the app if you have a if you have a smartphone. Yeah, there. Just park it like that. Here we go. Now we're good. That's what all your mods are for. Yeah, that's right. I know. That's that's true. Yep, Discord's free to use, so. Wow, dude, what's up with this? This fender is like through my tires. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand one bit. Can we just remove the mud flaps? Or at least the... That'd be so sweet if I can remove those. But yeah, man, keep us posted. Let us let us know how it works out. <clears throat> Honestly, there might be someone even in, in the Discord that can probably answer your question much faster than than Saber support does. So, hopefully, hopefully there's someone. Does it really? The CT681 does. Maybe I just haven't noticed it then. Oh, that's great. Should have known that was going to happen. Okay, cool. Let's go. Just pay us end coin. <laughs> My own crypto. <clears throat> What's up, Warnino? You know? Welcome in. Do your rear tire fender options actually add weight to the truck? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think if it is, if it does, it's probably very minimal. 
But what if it added like tons? You know what I'm saying? That'd be so. That'd be so crazy. Be very, very. Uh, Appreciate it, man. Hope you're doing well as well. Good to see ya. It is a good question, Lednor. Yeah, that was a good question. Here we go. W is on the task right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. As I sip my cold coffee here. Today I've heard that the player has weight, so I'm ready to believe the fenders do. It probably does. I didn't think the play like the player's truck had had like more weight in it, I guess. I don't know. But it makes sense. How much weight? I don't know. That's I think that's what I'm interested to hear. Is how much. McKillum said no. <clears throat> wow, he was pretty quick then. Duncan has the best cold coffee. Dude, Duncan, man, like 2022, they had the pumpkin spice cold brew. And legitimately, it was just cold brew with pumpkin spice foam on top. So it was like not very sweet, like kind of, you know, just like a cold foam on top. And it was just amazing. Does the option to turn off arms reduce the weight? That's a good question too, Wombat. <laughs> no, I think it, they're probably... It, I think the guy just... It probably just has weight in there. So what do you think of the new NC region so far? On a scale 1 to 10? Um, I like it. I like it. I, I would probably rank it like a 7. Maybe a, li maybe a little under a 7. But I think... For me personally, I think it's it's good. I think around the seven ish, seven ish, seven point five maybe. America runs on Duncan. Any news about season thirteen? I think the thir season thirteen PTS is actually. I think they they're going to drop it. I think this week I heard, but who knows? It might be pushed back because I think. Uh, I know there were some expedition stuff that got pushed back a day, so who knows. I remember that Vikral mentioned in in an MP session with District that sitting in a truck increases its weight. That's crazy. That's so crazy. I wonder about how many kilos. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll I'll pose the question to uh, to Vic sometime. But does the fuel in the tank have weight? Yes, it does. What is PTS? That's public test public test server. So prior to the release of a season. They actually put the the current. How do I say this? The new season that's going to be implemented as live server. They put it on a public test server for people to test it, to find bugs and then for them to fix them, for the duration of the time that it's on the PTS. After that, then it comes to live server. What one point five? What? 200 kilos of you jelly beans so hold on jelly that's like 450 pounds my man what two what 225 pounds is like 100 kilos i'm pretty sure right the add on the azov atom is going to drop on april 2nd so hopefully i still have a little bit more to go on this map so we can actually use it a little bit. Or just like, yeah, totally ignore the bugs, yeah. You wonder what truck has the most difference between a full and empty... Hmm. Isn't it like 2.25 pounds per kilo or something like that? So 100 kilos is like 225 around... Right, is it 2.25 or is it to just 
Oh yikes, oh yikes, don't tip it. You're looking forward to using the add-on? It's just 2.2? 2.2. Okay. Okay, so like a 45 pound plate in a gym is like 20.2 kilograms, right? It's gonna be an Azov family truck, yeah, yeah. I can now reset it. Reset the loss, but not forgotten task, and it works. But not the quarry. Hmm. How did you reset it? Let me ask you that. Whatever you did, it must have worked in some in some way. Boom, yeah, there we go. Okay, what just happened? What just happened? Did that just like complete and I didn't even get anything for it? <laughs> Maybe I hit X too fast and it just like... Whatever. <clears throat> you swap maps for a few minutes and let's see if... That's what I'd probably do. I'd swap the maps. I'd probably even close the game out. Just do all that stuff. Electricity in the air. Band of Giants. Everyone gets a log. Goes down. Guys, I think, I think we're done with this area. Toxic waste. Yeah, I think I think we're done so far. Yeah, I think we are. I think we're done with the uh, flatland right now. I'm going to drive this back up to the top. Or we're going to like basically start moving some things over to a reactive zone. Check my money. If it's over 800,000. Okay, yeah, I think I did get money for it. But I'm still 44% though. Whatever. It's completed. It's done. The banner appeared. Oh yeah, I probably clicked X too fast. Like I always do. <laughs> yeah, cool. Let's go. <clears throat> There's another water task here? Really? Oh, is it called living on the outskirts? Give me a second here. Dude, there, there had to be something that pops up, you know? Just something that how had to pop up. <clears throat> There's some vendors that have have mass, but not a lot of them. The mass is minute, 50 to 100. That's actually a good bit. That's a lot of weight. 50 to 100 kilos? For just mud guards? You clipped it? Oh, it did pop up? Okay, cool. Appreciate that, Max. Thank you for clipping that. Oh, you said no reward? Or well, there's no... Re what? What mission was that? What mission was that? Do you guys remember? I think it was called... What? Was it water monitoring? I don't... I forget. Not split loop. I can't go down anymore. Of course. Whatever. Whatever. Water under the bridge. It's completed. It's done. I'll worry about it later. 
<clears throat> Running dry too. Guys are always coming in clutch. Wait, is this running dry one? Okay. Yeah, okay. I got it. <clears throat> so contracts. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yep. Oh, it was only... It was. It paid me out, but... I don't know if it... Yeah, it paid me out. I'm sure it did. It's fine. Good to go. Let's go. Sick of waiting around. We have to we have to complete this place. Water missions. Poof. If there's another water tank in the other map, I'm going to drop this thing. Is there another task living on the outskirts? I think there's something that goes over here. Oh, there's another one. Living on the outskirts one. Yo, Mort, welcome in. Oh, these tasks that pop up. Dude. Killing me smalls. Alright, let's see what they are. <clears throat> Water there. Okay, this is easy. I'm going to go to the restroom real quick. Probably fill up my coffee. Help, I'm a new player to SnowRunner. I'm going to sit and watch. Greetings from Poland. You're, dude, you came to the right place. My whole YouTube channel is created for you, my friend. Lednor, could you uh, link the channel, please? We don't bite. Yeah, welcome in, Mort. Welcome in. So, Mort, I'm going to show you something real quick. <clears throat> this will help you tremendously because I know you're going to have a lot of problems with SnowRunner. Okay, this is going to help you. Give me one second. I'm going to pull up my YouTube channel. I'm going to show you some videos to watch. And uh, hopefully after you watch these videos, it might give you a little, uh, little better image on how you can conquer the game. All right, so something I would do is I would go to this YouTube page, the one that's in the link. Um, I've reviewed every truck in the game in detail. Um, I have tier lists. However, I would probably go down and start here at the other helpful SnowRunner videos. And here's what I would watch. This would be my first video I watched if I was a new player is right here. Is this, it's called Mud Running Tips, an in-depth look at mud, tires, and grip. I would look at this. You could probably go through all these videos here, these other helpful videos and look at these. Um, a lot of good information about gearboxes, um, increasing your torque and stuff like that. And then, yeah, there's a, just a lot of good stuff to, to uh, to go look at in, in that in that in that regard. If you need any help with like running through through maps and look at navigation, stuff like that, I have a series that goes up to I think season four. You can look at all that stuff too as well in your own time. But but yeah, I think this is probably going to be a really crucial video to watch because navigating through mud is going to be hard. <laughs> so, but yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to be right back because I need to go to the restroom and get some more coffee. So, yeah, hang in there.
All right, we're back. Okay. Shortcuts for the win. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, let's go. Let's get back to this. This water. You're welcome, man. We have a we have a really good community here. All these all these uh all these fine people here want to help. Oh, I have what is going on here? Tell me, tell me, please tell me. Okay. What is a thousand? Can I even like How much do I have? Drain the water? No. I don't know if that's enough. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. <clears throat> Get more water. I don't even know if I have enough. 344. No, I don't. I don't have enough. Because the other one was 714. I have 9, 979. It was a total. Yeah, I don't have enough for three 344. Yeah, man, I agree with Jelly Beans. Just have fun. Just have fun with the early game. Am I planning on doing the rest of the maps? No, unfortunately I'm not. <clears throat> I think there's a couple reasons. One, the videos, they really didn't do that well. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, the the, uh, the community, I think managers, they did give me a shout out on making that series when it first came out, but they really didn't get a lot of people's attention, if that makes sense. And I think nowadays, I don't know. I think people are just better, a lot better players nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it would just be less relevant. But also, like, I think maps got a little bit more complex. Like, you now have tippy areas in, like, mud pits, stuff like that. That's what happened in Dawn. There's just so much detail I'd have to go through. It just, it's, it's a huge... A huge undertaking of, of time and effort. Uh, yeah, I can cut through here. That's my, that's my area. <clears throat> This is my zone. <clears throat> yeah, vanilla is fine. Vanilla trucks are fine. The top shortcuts. Hmm, that could that could work. That could work. I do like I do like myself some shortcuts. I'm not I definitely not am I'm definitely not like as keen on shortcuts as a lot of other people. But I, I definitely enjoy some shortcuts. He's driving through a forest. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but here's the thing, man. Making a video about shortcuts, there's a lot of folk that really subscribe to the taking shortcuts is not necessarily a shortcut. People think like shortcuts in this game are like a trap and they're kind of like liabilities. In a lot of sense, they are. In a lot of sense, they can be. I think it just, it's based upon, 
if you trust your ability. I don't know, it's... The shortcut I showed you going up to the, the weather station? Oh yeah, that's that's a, that's one. Yeah, I think I think of people, there's a lot of folks that, that just, they don't feel comfortable in a lot of situations in this game. So therefore they just kind of like stick to the road. And that's okay. Like, do you know what I'm saying? They just, they feel like that's, that's the only way. And that's okay. It's, I mean, it'll get you there. It, it really does. But I mean, there are some really good shortcuts that are, that don't have a ton of, you know, a ton of like trickiness to them. But yeah. The roads are also trapped sometimes. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Which is another reason sometimes I like to use the shortcuts. Okay, so which one do I go to first? The house? Or this? Wow, dude, these are like way out there. Actually, I'm closer to this one. So maybe I'll go... Hit this up. And then we'll basically go through. Get some gas all the way down, across, and I think it's like over here-ish. I think it's like here. Yeah, something like that. All right, let's go, let's do it. You scout the roads and deviate later? That's, yeah, that's actually a really good idea. You were lucky not to saw that video where you showed the shortcut? Yeah, I think another one is the shortcut through Bypassing the in I think flooded foothills. Bypassing the uh, what's it called the frozen road or the frozen river or something like that, but it's actually still flowing. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Frost? Welcome in. Wow. You've been taking a break from Snowrunner. Nice man. It's always good to take a break. Always good. Yeah, it's a sawmill mission, yeah. For medi I think it's for like medium logs. It might be for other logs too. I think other logs go up there, but Yeah, both both sets. Definitely definitely a good idea. And bypassing the mud by the garage in Michigan. Wait, what wait, what mud? Which one? All right, Noah, glad to get you, at least get you somewhat squared away. Let me know how it works out. On the right of the garage. Here? This, this, this mud right here? Or are you talking about like this mud? Oh, you're probably talking about this mud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is easy. As soon as you hit this pole, you just hug. Get up here. And then you're pretty much good. Here, yeah, you just blaze through along this tree line. Yeah, that mud right there. Yeah. However, that mud can be navigated with highway tires. You just got to have weight on wheels. It can be done. Just some good old weight on your back, all-wheel drive diff lock, and just roll through. Skip it entirely, turn left. Turn left, turn right at the farm, go up that way. You go up the hill? Yeah, going up the hill. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, going up the hill right outside the garage. As soon as you, basically, as soon as you, uh, what's it called? As soon as you spawn out of the garage, you basically go left and then up the hill. Yeah, yeah, that's how you skip it. That's a good one, too. That's a good one. What? Dude, with this damage. It's sad when I, when I first started the game. 
that pit took you 10 minutes to figure out how to cross, really? I think it, that kind of happened for us all, though. Don't feel bad. Yeah, that, that definitely happened to me, too. Man, I got, I got to the point where I almost quit when I first started, so... Twice. I restarted my game twice when I first started. Oh, the mud to the left of the garage? Yes. I try to avoid that mud so bad, man. Oh, you had a tough time because of the weight on wheels thing? Yeah. That is the thing. You kind of need weight. Definitely need weight. Wait, good tires, and you should be okay. You turn left before the water, not the best choice. Yeah, yeah. You remember when your son first tried playing SnowRunner? I tried to help him. Couldn't do much and gave up. We tried a second time. After a while and started to enjoy it. Still found it brutal at the start. Wow, dude. Yeah, dude, at the start, at the start, the game is, uh, it's hard, man. I honestly, I like it though. Like you feel, you feel great when you, when you persevere through that, right? Get yourself some upgrades. Start making progress. Tactfully, like, tracking out missions that you can actually navigate to. Getting yourself along to get, get those next upgraded tires. That's coming from me. They rolled, rolled three of the most stable trucks in the game at all at once. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, how old is your son, Vic? Turning 10 next month. Wow, dude. Start him off right, dude. Start him off right. I like it. Some of the unlocks could be a bit earlier. The level unlocks seem a bit punishing at the start. Yeah. But I think at level six you get the the tire unlocks, and those those kind of help out a little bit too. Level six, well, actually, like the hardest part of the game is is playing on highway tires, right? Because I don't like the whole weight on wheels thing is not really a concept that a lot of people really kind of digested, right? So, with that being said, you're on highway tires for more levels than you're on any tire in the level up process because at the end at like level 12 to 14 ish you, you already have basically your mud tires right your highest end tire you can buy but you know from levels one to six you're on highways and you're not getting a lot of experience in low level areas so you can't really like fast track progress so like you're stuck for six levels. <laughs> actually, it's not really six levels. It's actually, well, kind of. It's kind of like five because you basically are given level two if you skip the tutorial. But yeah, and then after that, like, you know, level six, you only need like two more levels to hit off-road tires and off-road tires are pretty good. You know, once you have a UOD two, I mean, even the bump from like highway to all-terrain is just, massive you remember getting stuck in Smithville Dam on the road to the farm yes dude I remember that 
I remember that too. Dude, I'm gonna take a shortcut here. I'm already sick of it. The different wheel types are daunting as a player. As a new player, I wonder how many people just bought the most expensive. I, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that did that. <clears throat> there's a lot of people that did that. I mean, even today, there's there's so many conversations about which tire is the best. This this tire, this tire. So, ongoing. If they added adjustable pressure in SnowRunner, would you gain any advantages as the game is currently programmed as it is? Yes. Yeah, kind of like what W said. It would it would depend on the on the the, mul the modifiers or multipli multipliers that they add. If they made it so there was like a slight multiplier in like a mud and off road or mud and dirt and snow, honestly, I I, I don't think that'd be a good thing. I really think it, it would it would actually hurt their sales in like the Jat Tire Pack. Like why buy the Jat Tire Pack? Unless you just want looks when you can just deflate your tires at like a highway tire level and get crazy multipliers and just not have any type of issue. I don't know, who knows? I don't know, I, I just hope, I hope they, if they do implement it, I hope they just do it in a balanced way where it doesn't make the game too easy. Lower, lower the pressure, lower the center of mass. Yeah, I think that'd be another good one, Vic, actually. I, thought, I like that. I like that application better, to be honest, now that you mentioned it. Yeah, almost tipped myself there. Dude, come on. Yeah, I don't know if it's like that in Expeditions or not. I don't know. Yeah, I think, yeah, if it did change it, I mean, I, I do like the looks of the Jat tires. So, I do have to say, I do like the looks. It, it really did add a lot of confusion for a lot of people when the Jat tire pack came out. And it probably still is adding a lot of confusion. Good maps and OG upgrades to trucks. I like that. I like the idea. I wouldn't mind an update to the janky keyboard mouse controls. I see. I haven't played keyboard mouse. I kind of do like more or less controller and then a little bit of mouse mouse movements. So I, I wouldn't really know how keyboard mouse runs. What would you do for a Paystar buff? The only thing I think I would do to the Paystar... I don't know. Just get, maybe, I would probably just say give it better balance. I would say give it better balance and maybe a slight buff to its torque. At least 200k? Ooh, that's a tall order, my man. Well, I mean, if you think about it, Scorpion, it's already pulling. I think it already pulls because of because of the weight, the tire weight. I think it pulls about as hard as a truck that pulls with like 185 right now, just because of tire weights. That's if my theory is true. That's if my theory is true. I mean, let me see. Do I still have that? In Do I still have this? Let me see if I still have this, this, uh... Um... Here we go. 
Here you go. Here's uh here's Paystar 5070. <clears throat> here's the uh, eight slot trailer. Here's an eight slot trailer with four metal beams on it. I talked about this the other day. If it had 180k torque, oh, it'd pull crazy. It'd pull crazy better. But I mean, I can show you. I can show you another truck that failed this right here, that people think is just much better. I had no. Be be advised. I mean, I had to. I had to shift off all-wheel drive to just basically drive all all my power to my rear axles here. But it crawled it. I mean, that's eight. Now this is this is a test map, so keep that in mind as well, right? Smooth surface, basically a smooth dirt surface. But then again, here's the fem. Here's the fem on eight slot. There it is. There, there's the king of torque right there. There it is. There's the most torque in the game right now. Now, if you look at, let's see, I don't have the other one. I don't have the trucks that this was going against, actually. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, I, I can show 605R, but he crawled it. I, I just didn't have, I don't have the other, I deleted the other, the other uh, videos of like the ANK and other trucks that have more power than the uh, the, the Paystar, but not pulling that hill. So, how do I say this? I, I just think, I don't know, I have a theory that the Paystar has heavy set wheels. A lot of American trucks have medium set wheels, and somehow this truck pulls better than vehicles that have better power to weight than this vehicle. I don't know just a uh it's just a theory paystar is one when you get right outside the garage no that's called the fleet star the fleet star is that one which is also a really good truck by the way a little tippy but yeah i think if you can drive a fleet star really good man you can drive any truck in the game if you can master that it's like harnessing the wind. Another underrated truck is the K the C70. Yeah, I like the Kodiak too as well. I just wish it was better using low saddle. But as like a smaller a smaller vehicle to haul weight or just to haul. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. My tippy workhorse for the first two maps. Yeah. <laughs> How poetic. Underrated trucks, the Royal BM seventeen. I like the Royal. I like the Royal. I think it's I think it definitely is a good is a good truck. I dealing with its front end collisions. You've been bringing the fleet star out for hard mode at all? Not much. Cause I not much, Dave, honestly. I mean, we can. The only thing is, it's just, I don't like, I pull a lot of, I like to pull a lot of weight and that frame kills me with the, with the contact. That's the only reason I haven't been using it. But yeah, the Fleet Star is a good truck. Which I need to probably break out a little bit more for smaller hauls. So let's say for, they gave one of the cats OHDs, what? Um, I don't know, because that's like a hypothetical scenario, right? I think, though, if they gave American trucks all OHD options, I mean, I think you would see performance increase. I really do. I mean, I think I did a test with, uh, there's a truck that actually has both options, the medium and, and the heavy set tires, and that's the bore. So I ran the eight slot test with the bore with o o UODs, which are medium tires, 100 kilograms, and it failed the test going up the hill. 
However, when I put the OHDs on, it walked that hill pretty easily. Like, I don't know, they both the UODs and the, the OHD1s have the same coatings friction-wise. So, I don't know. That's the only other thing I could think of is just the weights are different. Weights and maybe the width of the tires are different. The GMC MH9500 with all-wheel drive, all you need for maps, that is a that is a true statement. What's up, John? Welcome in. Let's do this. Nice, dude. There's, there's another. Does mass of a vehicle change when the player enters and exits an SR? Yes, Dave. That's the question we have. The burning question we need answered I think that's it I think that's all the missions for this area unless something spawned I don't see anything that spawned yeah I think it's it what do you think it does <laughs> Okay, um... <laughs> Them big truckers, yeah. Okay, I think... Yeah, I think that's, that's, a, that's a wrap for, for Flatland right now. So with that being said, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to sell this because I, I think I already have one. Yeah, don't need that. Oh, no, not not you. We don't sell you. <laughs> yep, we go to reactive zone next, actually. So I need to get my Paystar back to its other trailer. I need to get some things set up and then we're actually going to make a move here. Yeah. I saw that you had the 1430 and I saw that truck pulling long logs in Alaska. Really? With no all wheel drive and diff lock. Dang. Yeah. Wait, you talking about like on my review? If they're not in the truck, your client can move it however you like. Okay they are in the truck then both clients yep with OHDs yeah I think that was on my review that I was pulling those logs in, in Alaska yep just wait on wheels and, and OHDs are crazy it's based like tug of war I don't know if I understand in multiplayer take the positions to sync with it. oh okay what's up snack pack Did I hear about the features introduced to expeditions were confirmed from yesterday? I think they're live actually. Yeah, I think those are live. It was in the co-op. Uh, was it in the co-op? Oh, maybe it was, it might've been. That does make sense. Some sense. I don't know if it makes total sense to me because I'm a little slow. Um, let's see here. Flatland. Let's go Paystar. I need to get this back to the garage. Go get its other. Yeah. We'll do a little cut through here. I need to get its trailer, which is like right here so we'll go get his trailer and then i'm gonna probably just load the load star all those trailers on my trailer and then go
Yeah, honestly, Warren, you know, it, it might it might have been the 49X. I think if it was on the All-American Co-op when I was playing with Max Power, I think... I think it might have been the 49X, and I think it only had Diff Lock. Diff Lock on... I don't know. And I think that was Highway Tires, actually. Maybe, I don't know. But if it was on the review, it was it was definitely the 1430 on, on highways. Or not on highways, but on OHDs. I forget, there's so many videos, man. I think I have like over 400 videos on SnowRunner right now. Kind of kind of crazy, right? 400 videos, including VODs. Okay. So was it the review, you think? Or was it... It might, it might have just been the review. Oh, yikes. Nice logs. This is great. I love these little bridges here. I love this. This is great touch. I like this. Do I think it's the all-around best scout? Um, I think it's pretty, pretty good. Honestly, it could do a lot of things. F750 is a definitely a huge contender to be like the best all-around scout. I think it can haul cargo. It can use the crane. It can be kind of like a support vehicle. It's almost like a mobile gas station repair unit itself. It does a really good job at scouting. It's does really well with performance. It's relatively efficient. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty good. I mean, a lot of people would say the Burlak as well, but I don't know. I, I think I'd probably prefer to use the F750 unless, you know, if I was in like a moor and I need to scout, then like... But I've seen people scout in a more with the F750 and, and be fine. You can't imagine those log bridges feel good to cross, yeah. Whoa, where am I going here? Okay, whoa. Okay, what am I doing here, dude? I'm messing up so bad. That's alright. Uh, trailer's there. Yeah, maybe not. I don't... I think, like, super conditions, it can definitely go. I think the only thing is, like, the burlap being able to to haul scout trailers. Did you remember to ask about the missing the missing trucks in Wisconsin? Wait, what, what missing trucks? Wait. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, the F750 is pretty good, dude. It When it first came out, it started in a pretty bad place, though. Until they gave it its engine. The Resvani? Resvani is pretty good, too. Resvani is another one. Also, the Apache. Actually, with the new changes, the Apache is actually pretty good. Don't get me wrong, though. No trailer support, so... But the Apache is actually pretty good. I 
Are you talking about tight spaces? Yeah. I think overall just... Yeah, I mean, the Burlak I don't think is as stable as well as the F750. Also, like, tipping over with the Burlak is not going to be fun trying to, like, upright it again. So then you have that. Yeah, the, the, well, I think most vehicles got changes to the linear dampening, so, like, a lot of vehicles can, like, basically... There is no resistance when having certain attachments like a roof rack on them anymore. By the way, McKillen came to the same conclusion as Dave did. All physical interactions are calculated local. You only get the other player's truck moving if on their end something, is, something moved them. Okay. Yeah, the front wheel drive is kind of terrible too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah. No. The, Apa the Apache? It's the Chevrolet Apache, I think. I'll show you. Truck store. Right there. Chevrolet Apache. Yes, sir. Six by six. No, not there. The front wheel drive is stinks, yeah. I'm not a fan of the front wheel drive thing. Doesn't have the missile pods. No, it doesn't have hitch hitch support. That's the problem. That is the problem. Actually, I don't even need this trailer. Get this out of here. There's a water trailer on the other map anyway, so I don't need that. That's why, like, I think when the Burlak came out, I was kind of a little bit up in arms about them giving the Burlak the option to haul scout trailers when we have vehicles that probably should be able to haul scout trailers that can't haul scout trailers that really aren't as dominating as the Burlak. So, yeah. Like, I would actually opt for the F-750 to actually just be able to use scout trailers over the normal medium trailers or the normal, like, hauling class truck trailers. I think that would be a better move. Because, yeah, I think that would just be a better move. Could you imagine? I mean the F-750 pulling scout trailers, it would just manhandle them. And then, you know, the Resvani, the Apache, maybe even the, what's it called? Uh, the smaller scouts, even the CJ-7 Renegade. Let's see, what else? The, the Con Marshall. Stuff like that. Um, okay, I'm going to throw the, you were disappointed in the Hummer? Dude, the Hummer goes pretty fast now. You know, what's that? What's like the Hummer on highway tires going faster than the Hummer on, on normal tire or like mud tires? Isn't that like a thing? Or in mud or something like that? I forget. We looked at it the other day. I forget what we were looking at. Okay. But yeah, the Hummer is actually pretty good. It, it goes pretty, pretty fast now. So wait, what, 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 what did, what didn't you like about the Hummer?
You didn't use this truck a lot? Oh, this truck is great. You've been enjoying smaller scouts with the jet tires like the Hummer? And this you still have to drop the suspension for the Hummer? Really? Okay. Oh, here we go. Um. Okay, I see what you're saying. I definitely still use the... Oh, I'm going to knock this thing over. I still use the race suspension with the... With the Scout. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get this to work. If I can get this to work, it's going to be great. I'm probably not, though. Probably not. But we're going to try. If it will pack like this, if it does, it's gonna be great. Let's let me test this real quick. What? Can't pack trailer? Is it because I'm on a slope? serious right now are, are we oh I you know I think it is <clears throat> I think I know, I know it's happening but it's okay I don't need we need, need to like really pack him should only really need to pack anything to be quite honest I just have to get it in there you tried it on the king of the hill task at flipping I mean, it's tough. It's tough to see how it handles, honestly. Like, the Scout is not the easiest truck to use. It really isn't. It's it's kind of tough. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, go. Now you get back. Okay, okay. can you just move, please, sir? Okay, what, what's going on here? Okay, cool. Now let's see if I can get the... Okay, get out of the way. So if you ever get back into co-op, due to the winch forces not being synchronized, you basically, you could use a Dawn. That's crazy, dude. That makes sense though. I So like the something I noticed W is like, when I was using the winch in co-op, I, I almost felt how do I say this? I felt like, yeah, it felt like almost like a tug of war thing. Like if I was, if we were both going through like a mud pit and he was like coming out of it or I was going into it, it was like almost like we were like keep pulling each other back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It was almost like we were fighting each other. But even though we were both like full on gas, low plus in the same direction, it was just a very weird thing. Dude, I'm not, I don't want to extend. Only the positions and velocities of the vehicles are synchronized, are synced, but not the winch forces. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Why are you freaking out, Crane? Okay.
This is ridiculous. What am I doing? What am I doing, guys? Just ridiculousness. <laughs> Just like shove it in there. <laughs> Could this work? Can I get this to work? Maybe. Let's see, hold on, let me actually like get myself in a better position to pick up his end. go. Much better. Uh, I wonder if I can do something here. Can I pick you up? Yikes. Okay. Maybe not. I wonder if he'll stay. <laughs> well, we're gonna try it. I could. I could probably winch one behind. I think I'm just too stubborn, to be quite honest. <laughs> just too stubborn. I'm not the smartest guy in the, the smartest tool in the shed, or the, the sharpest tool in the shed. I mean, I'm so good at using the crane. It's it just uh, it's just a lot of work with it, man. Could have just been, I don't know how. Tires are like morphing through. <laughs> if this works, it's good, right? All right, guys, to the gateway. Yikes, dude. Oh, this is. The real test is just getting this... Oh. The real test is just getting this all the way to the other, other map, to be quite honest. <laughs> this is crazy. I love it, though. sense. Oh, you're hitting. Not good. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't like that. So, let's go like this. Yikes. Okay, not good. I caught on something. I feel like some caught on a lot of things. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah. I guess I should just went this way. Okay, that works. Oh, loading long logs? Yeah, that's always uh, that's always an issue. Since we talked about players adding weight, why does pack cargo add more weight to your truck when not packed down? I'm not sure. I think the only piece of cargo that's unpacked that weighs more is uh, metal, not metal. Um, I think it's wooden planks. Yeah, I think it's wooden planks. They actually weigh less when they're packed. Than, than whenever they're uh, they're not packed. But yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. I just don't. I don't know. Bro. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness! There goes the show. goes the show. It's all ruined. Hey, look at that. He stayed on. What? Dude, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> okay, so reverse. No. Can I just get you to flip me over? Okay, long rope. Let's see. I have a long rope here. Let's see if I can help myself here without. Dude, that lodestar is hanging on for his dear life. really need to disconnect right now I can't my winch can't pull me up is this is this real life now turn gas winch let's see if I can get it come on baby right turn let's go let's go all right so Okay. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, maybe... Maybe I do winch the other trailer. Actually, hold on. I need to get to a spot where I can actually... Hold on. There we go. Jackknife. Okay, please tell me you're not stuck somewhere. Okay, nice. All right, cool. No, I don't want to extend. Nope. Yes. Oh no. 
The tongue is like stuck. Let's go this way. Let's see if we can go this way. Swing it around this way. Nope. Not enough strength in the wind. In the, what's it called? There we go. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to do something here. Actually, I need to get to like a good place. Maybe I can actually fix this. Is he gonna fall back into place? Seem like I'm struggling. We're doing something interesting. There we go, he fell into place. Good to go. I knew that place was going to be very interesting. The load starts going to tip me again. No, I won't be fine. We'll be fine. I just need to use my angles correctly. Oof. I'm actually going to put that back on. I'm going to try to put that back on, I think. Players do do not add weights. Okay, good. Good to know. That's good to know. Thank you. So you guys probably have an active conversation going on then. What's up, Smurf, by the way? Good to see you. Alright, um, I'm going to stop here. Try to put this trailer back in. Hopefully the, the load star doesn't freak out. There we go. Spin, spin, thank you. Nice. Okay. Try number two. <laughs> this, is so, this is great. This is great. Hey man, I need to get my scout stuff, you know, over to the next map. So this is a good way to do it, right? No, don't fall out. Good old 750. Yeah, what's up, Don? You want to come in? You want to jump in on the pile here? Go, yeah, you want to wanna come along? Oh, you know what? Here's a good... This is good. This is really good. I remember this. This is really good. Mm 
Ha! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and on we go. I did say I was going to use that repair plate, that repair supply place, so. Nice little use case there. Oh, this drive is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. Not looking forward to this one. That's a nice house up there. Crazy. Just the right way? Yeah. Okay. I don't have anything packed down. It's a pretty muddy place, I'll tell you that much. I gotta make sure I don't drop my trailer out the back. Well, technically there is still weight from just placing them in the trailer, right? It's just not a packed weight. So yeah, I mean, I, I am still hauling weight. It's just, I don't, I don't know if the vehicles, well, actually, yeah, pretty, I'm pretty sure vehicles that are unpacked are a little bit lighter than they are packed. Same thing with trailers. So I think it's pretty much the, almost the same thing with cargo. So yeah, wow, hey, this is going to be bad right here. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. A lot of trucks get stuck here, though. Vehicles shouldn't change weight when they're packed, really? I thought, I'm pretty sure I thought that they did. Yo, Mort, thank you for stopping in, man. Good to see you. Thank you for, uh... Thanks for the company. Happy trucking, my friend. Give me some traction. That's not that's not gonna do anything. Actually, what am I doing? Straight line pull. What am I doing? <clears throat> yeah, we need a scale mod now, right? I don't know, I always thought the pack trucks. I just thought they were they re basically kind of were like cargo, but hey, if not, then hey, I'm pulling weight here then. All right, man vs. game. Good to see you, man. No worries, man. Just glad to have you in. You go have a wonderful day, my friend. Ooh, that was that was pretty nice, except for that. Except for that that tree just messed it all up, you know. trees there's no alternate asset for for trucks okay that's good to know all right then there's the answer this is why I always like this is why I like having naked Dave around because I don't I don't know all these things it's good to know okay so then basically yeah all these things are just natural the natural weight I'm carrying them
Yeah, I guess that's true, yeah. Suspension compression is a good way to validate that, yeah. I wonder what would be a good way to, to do that. Can I? Trees, trees, trees. This is pretty good, man, for being one of the worst areas in this, uh, on this map or on this region, like one of the worst muddy areas. It's actually handling it pretty, pretty well, I must say. For no diff lock and 44 inch tires. Appreciate that Smurf, thank you man. It's gonna have a lot of help. We got people like W in here. People like Naked Dave. They keep me honest, you know what I'm saying? Pull it, baby. Just smash the high gear. Let's do it. Let's do it. Stay in. Don't jump out of the trailer. Oh, I want to. I want to cut through so bad. I want to cut through. I think I do. Yeah, we're gonna do it. This might be a very bad idea, actually, but. Hopefully, I'll go for some winch points here. Oof. I know, right? That's what I'm saying, man. You have, have some smart folk that, that come by. This is going to be tough. Hold on a second here. I can see this already happening. Yep, I can see that already being an issue for the tip zone. Dude, let's go. Get off me. To the gateway. All right, that wasn't so bad. Not so bad. Well, I think that might be it for today. We are at 46%. We started at 39. We completed the rest of the flatland or what I could do in the flatland and legitimately got all of our, well, we got our scouting vehicle for this, uh, this place for the reactive zone over here. I don't think I'm gonna be able, having to use it much to be honest. I think uh, these towers do cover a good bit, maybe down here in this corner, but other than that, I think we're pretty good to go here. So basically next next time it's gonna be all scouting. Um, Yeah, scouting towers, doing tasks, maybe, pro actually it's gonna be scouting towers, unlocking any type of contract that has a warehouse connected to it. I think that's that's kind of like the move is what I think we should do. So, yo, washing, welcome in. Appreciate that. Thank you for the follow. But yeah, um, I'm probably gonna stop over at JJ's stream later today if I can. I have some things I need to do, so hopefully, um, I'll be able to stop over there. But, anyways, guys, 
thank y'all for stopping in. Thank you for those gifted subs. Um, any subs that happened today, Lednor, thank you for that, man. Uh, much appreciated. And all the follows we got today, much appreciated, guys. We will see you guys tomorrow, pretty much same time, same place. Um, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time will be starting, and we'll start uh, we'll start knocking this stuff out. So, anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and as always, God bless and stay upright.